Howdy. Howdy. Mop day, chat. Mop day. Mop day. We just want something nice and easy to play. We, we may not. Look, dude, we'll get into that game. We will. But uh, it wasn't the point, all right? It wasn't the goddamn point. But we will do some mopping today. We'll, we'll get some mopping in. A little bit. Witch talk, I don't want... It, one, it's witch talk, like T-O-K. Not witch talk as in talking to one of them. All right, that... It's never happening. I don't have anything to say to them. The witches, I mean. Oh man, avoid the penumbra map, that was miserable. What, is there some new map they added in like a patch? And if so, what's so bad about it? It's dirty. <laughs> All right, I see. It's, it's filthy. Do the penumbra map just to spite that guy. Dude, all I know is I love it when someone comes in and they say, Oh God, do not do this thing. Whatever you do, please don't do this. I think it's a vanilla one, but it's pitch dark with uneven ground. You, may, you have to lay lanterns everywhere. Okay, well, that's fine. There's a bunch of other maps to do. So that's not a big deal. We're not exactly scraping the bottom of the map barrel for ones we have or haven't done. So, who cares? It'll be fine. I mean, hell, while we're waiting, while we're like sitting here, I can technically go in and look myself. It's not like, I can, I can literally go take a look. So let's actually go take a look real quick. While I'm talking. I'll be the judge of how dark it is. All right, it's dark. Pretty dark. Yeah, it's a little dark. Yeah, it's dark. Yeah, it's dark. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna play this one. <laughs> wow, that's really dark. Yeah, but yeah, no, no, yeah, no. Nah, yeah, nah. Nah, 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 yeah, nah. Hey, Thousand Manx, thanks for the 25 gifted subs. Thanks, Thousand Manx, for that awfully kind. Real nice of you, Thousand Manx, real nice. So yeah, we're just gonna be hanging out with Dave today. I've, uh, I've got some, uh, some big stuff I've been working on, but, um, honestly, I have been extremely tired the last couple days and I don't really want to do any of my big projects um, especially since Dave's back uh, Dave just got back from a, from a, from an adventure so um he's back in town I thought it'd be nice to hang out with him for a bit hell yeah so yeah such since we were going to be doing something yesterday until Fucking Pokemon happened. Not mad. Thousand Manx, thanks for the ten gifted subs. Thanks. Thanks. Ditched for Pokemon Omega Lull. Look, dude. The same thing would have happened if some shitty indie game came out the same day as Deep Rock. Is I would have said, oops, psych. I literally can't do this. A better option came out. So I get it. I know the score. It's fine. I, I matter of fact, I did do it for Outer Wilds. <laughs> I, have, I have done, I have ditched him. Sam, in this case, four outer wilds. 
Literally. So, <laughs> we'll do it sometime soon. Did you hear that someone was going to make Pokemon NFTs without Nintendo's permission? Nintendo doesn't know how to stop them or give them permission in any direction because they probably don't even know what NFTs are. And Nintendo are like the grandpas of gaming. They don't fucking know what that means. They're never gonna pursue that. Uh, NFT. I'm still trying to copyright strike people for playing Pokemon music in the YouTube videos. I don't have time for this. It's an NFT because Nintendo wants to take them down, gives it value. What? I guess true. True? Dude, imagine buying NFTs. Like, ima <laughs> imagine being... Imagine being that person, the person who purchases and participates in NFTs. Couldn't be me. If it sounds like I'm picking on you, if you are one of those people, it's because I am. Like, do not ever misinterpret this as me, like, making a joke. No, I'm, I'm genuinely picking on you. But my monkey picture! Yeah. It's embarrassing. It is. It's what they deserve. I know, that's why I'm willing to do it. <laughs> there are very few things I feel like I can, I, I feel like that someone deserves to be like flat out just picked on for it. NFTs is one of them. NFT more like no fucking thanks. Woo! There it is! There it is! That's my chat member! Chub a muffin, chub chub, thanks for the 10. Give to chubs, thanks. NFT's nuts. That's also pretty good. It's not as good as the last one, but it's pretty good. Not bad. Another one. It's literally the most successful grift I've ever seen. Look, dude, I don't want to be on this for very long, but I do want to throw back to exactly three sessions or three streams ago where I reminded everyone that the actual person who made the code base for NFTs to function said, and I quote, there's no way this works. I, I know for a fact because everything is broken because it never worked to begin with. LOL, why does everyone keep ignoring me when I tell them this? Don't hang up. And then they hung up on them and kept selling NFTs. That was funny. <laughs> Screenshots your NFT. <laughs> Bro, you've been had. I got you. You just got screenshotted, dude. I right-clicked and I pressed save as! Skeleton hat animation NFT. <laughs> the blockchain. <laughs> it's funny! You guys are funny. Are you gonna play Payday 2's new NFT heist? No. 
I said no, I won't, and no, that's not happening. But of all the games that would have an NFT level, it would be Payday. <laughs> it would be the dumbest fucking thing ever. But it would be Payday. Or Cruelty Squad, yeah. It would be Payday or Cruelty Squad. You saw the Twitter post they made, right? No, I stopped using Twitter again for uh, no reason whatsoever other than losing interest in uh, focusing on it for like a half, a half a month. One day I'll post another tweet, I promise. Good. Dude, you guys are like psychos. Good. I, ha I, 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 I'm deeply invested in the failure of a social media platform. I'm fucking mad. Take it easy, man. <laughs> Honestly, the best advice is to just leave Twitter. It's a garbage site only meant to outrage people. Askers? <laughs> Askers? I'm looking around. They're not wrong. Yeah, but it's everyone fucking knows that, dude. Yeah, if you're interacting with the trending tab, sure. If you fucking spend your time on that platform going over to the hot new hotness being posted, sure, yeah. For me, it's a way to interact with friends I don't talk to. To some extent. Right? You go on any social media, you can find the scum. That's, that's not fucking Twitter exclusive. I'm not sure why people sometimes act like it is. I'm not here to defend Twitter, but like, you, f you can find that anywhere. That's not just there. It's here. It's everywhere. All I have to say is one buzzword, and this place will turn into a Twitter trending section in about two seconds. Outrage and all. It's not that hard. It's really not. Skeleton. <laughs> skeleton with hat. Yeah, skeleton with hat. Skeleton with hat. Turning down my audio. I'm getting ready to call the boy. And hoping that it's not like fucking horrible. Give me a second. Shut up! I hate that sound. Alright. I'm calling the boy. As soon as I take a sippy of water. Hello? Bruh. Oh. Oh, bruh. Oh. What's up? Hello? Bruh. Nah. <laughs> Did? You hey. said bruh hey. and then no said another <laughs> word. <laughs> <laughs> I thought like you. Just, I thought it was like a sound effect for a second. You, no, that was me. That was me. You just you didn't fucking say anything. Else, dude. You guys all just left the call after. Go to again. Bruh, it leaves. What's up, hey, man? What's it's fucking been up? While. It's been yeah, it's, it's been, been eons, even. Yeah. You know that time time. Time for us, two weeks is like two years, so it's like I barely even know you anymore. I'm seriously, it does feel like that. So much happened, and I feel like I'm just lost. You, you miss a lot of stuff. Yeah. All right. From Soft, get this, all right? From Software, they reused the skeleton animation in Elden Ring from Dark Souls 1. 
Could you fucking believe it? I fucking spat out my drink. I spat out every meal that I've eaten for the last two weeks straight because I keep thinking about it when I eat food. Frankly, Dave. I think that's awesome. <laughs> I know that guy. I know <laughs> that is that is the one answer I didn't want, Dave. We're done here. You 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 yes ended in the wrong direction of freaking PO. God damn it! He's my friend. I remember him way back in the junior varsity. <laughs> I needed so sol- I needed solidarity with one <laughs> other person about about the skeleton with a hat. Oh, he, have a hat? he doesn't have a hat, but he should have a hat. All right, I gotta catch you up, chat. You can think that this is like, oh, he's doing the same thing again. I gotta catch Dave up so he understands this reference. All right, because he's gonna hear it at least one more time. All right, Dave, in the Elden Ring demo, which I think. You may have come out when you were still like around. I didn't see anything of that. It showed it showed it fucking holds a camera on a skeleton resurrecting from the ground from bones. Except he does this weird thing where he like pats top of his head. Because huh? the devs included an animation of the skeleton resurrecting uh where its head is supposed to be detached from its body. He's supposed to place the skeleton head on his body. But he doesn't do yeah. that. So the animation's broken. Oh my god, you're right! And it, it it just made me so mad. And I've been in like a sort of insane fucking spiral uh, ever since. Because chat members oh. keep telling me it's fine and it's not fine. And I'm not going to listen no. to them ever. That, so wait, so wait. It, mm-hmm. I, you know, it's the skeletons, you know, when you first uh, uh, file link and you go to that like weird the cemetery place yep and it's the ones that like spin around from bones and then reform and yeah. their heads off. Yeah. Right? So so, so the head animation is there. The animation yeah. to move their head onto their body is there, but for some reason the Elden Ring devs were like, uh, no, no. I don't think so. Not this time. <laughs> Someone grab oh. me the fucking time clip. I'm going to send it to Dave so he knows. Someone <laughs> find it. I know everyone's got it saved. Because cause you're all obsessed with it, just like me. It's like, actually, it's uh, I would say it's a bit, Dave, but it's sort of become more of like a... That's um, a little ob- It's an obsession at this point. I wonder what else is going to be like. This is just Dark Souls. Oh, no, the crab. They have a giant enemy they brought the, crab. No, it's a, they, brought, they brought the crab right over. But that's fine, because that's like Dark Souls 3 to Elden Ring, Yeah, right? the one from 3 in the swamp. The, 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 the skeleton is like, this guy's been in there since fucking Kingsfield, baby. <laughs> they, they've been grabbing this skeleton and pulling him into the next game. <laughs> <laughs> this one was actually, there's actually a couple animations from that president game they made as well. As a, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They've actually they've brought, they've brought over some call. of the sound uh, clips from that president, <laughs> that mech president Mr. game. Mr. President. Well. <laughs> That's it's, one all, of the boss. it's all in there. There's a, Joe Biden made it in. He cut a deal with George R. R. Martin to be written in. And, Dude, that's uh, fucking epic, actually, for real, though. No nice bits. Joe. That's epic. Classic Joe. <laughs> Classic Joe. Classic fucking Joe. Oh, God. Cookie and cream animations. Oh, no. Was that FromSoft? Yeah. It was the hardest game they ever made. Easily. Wow. We should play it sometime. I've played the one side of it with Kraken ages ago. But it's like sort of an asymmetrical co-op game in that if I played the other character, I would uh, be playing a new game. I'd love to show you uh, what that game is because I also haven't streamed it on my side. Therefore, it's not a rerun. It's yeah. it's not a rerun. <laughs> it's, a, it's not. There's no way. It it's not a rerun. rerun. It's fresh it's content. Really no one can say otherwise. The way I see it is, if there's not a vod proving I did it on my stream, it didn't happen. That could have been a tomato AI with a deep faked voice. Yeah, that game's cool until you get to like the end, and it makes you do a co-op slide puzzle. You know those puzzles where it's like a picture, and it's like a bunch of it's like a three by three puzzles like thing. Yeah. Like tic tac toe, I need to what? slide the cubes around to make a picture. Why is that co-op? Because the whole game is co-op. That sucks. So one Those person's uh, nice controlling stuff. one side of it, one person's controlling the other, oh, and it's almost oh. impossible to uh, do it. It was actually the fucking hardest part of the entire game, and you're timed. timed. You're timed. Ah, uh, of course. You're timed. Hell You've no. got a timer of like a minute and a half to do it. That sucks. That sucks. Oh my god. Did did you know Vadi called you out on one of his recent videos? No, he fucking didn't. He wouldn't dare. We we have such a, we have such a fucking we have a rough history. He and I. He wouldn't do that. But uh, thanks for trying to thanks for trying to fucking lie. The old feud. It comes back again. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> that guy sends me messages every day, and he's like, "You fucking." 
But talk about that skeleton one more time. <laughs> <laughs> and she couldn't regret it. <laughs> I'm like, Roddy, you can't <laughs> silence the truth, man. Nothing can silence the fucking truth. Uh, oh, man. You know, dude, I'm actually planning on when that game comes out, though. Like, you're welcome to join me if you want for a co-op session of Elden Ring, but I have to warn you that my plan is that I'm going to stop playing it and turn off the stream the second I see any reused assets as a kind of sort of, uh, like, stupid fucking bit. Okay. I don't okay. think I make it out the first door, if I'm going to be honest. No, I don't think you will. I, like... And to be clear, I'm fine with the game reusing assets for certain things, but I'm I'm betting I don't think I make it past the first door, or even perhaps the first sound of me clicking a menu asset at the main menu. Oh my god, it's gonna have the goon. It's gonna have the goon, and then I'm gonna have to turn off the stream. Yeah. Oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> I think I think I have to do that. Like it's gonna be such a stupid fucking. I'm gonna do one, but uh, it's gonna have an epilepsy warning. I'm gonna turn the color of the stream negative every time there's a reused asset. So I'm gonna have a little button, and I'm just gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> just constantly game. inverting the fucking yeah, colors around and making people throw up <laughs> god i think you see the problem is like there was always a part of me was like i kind of want to stream that game and it comes out but i've made my own toxic bed you know what i mean i've created like a toxic uh, bed that now i have to sleep in where it's like <laughs> I'll never now I was already on the fence before, but now I'm a hundred percent sure I can't ever because like the second we see the skeleton, people are gonna go like, There it is, baby. And then like anything else will happen again, you'll be like, God, that looks like that looks like the same fucking thing. That's the thing that's the same thing again. <laughs> you know what it'd be? You'd meet the skeleton and he would kill you. Uh by like just by some miracle of science, because skeletons are easy. But for some reason it's like a raid boss specifically it on your game. Yeah, it's got raid boss <laughs> mechanics, but it uses the exact same moveset yeah, right. as the Dark Souls yeah. 1 enemy. So it's, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. extremely fucking embarrassing. It's, like, 200% fast, but everything else <laughs> is exactly the same. <laughs> extremely predictable, nothing yeah. really that threatening about it. Yeah. Kills me, sends me all the way. If I lost to that thing, I think I'd have to give up, like, immediately <laughs> on the whole Just thing. Just not play anymore? Yeah, but, I mean, that's me with gaming in general, Dave. I quit gaming today. Did you know that? You did? Yeah, I got, I got, uh, I got, I, I, I've had enough of it, I think. I was talking today about the lack of gaming we've had in the, uh, in the community for a while and how I was trying to sort out with the, the devs of the world to get a gaming stimulus package sent in <laughs> so we can keep gaming. Well, that was, I think that was like Halo. That's what Phil tried to do with the Halo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They really he was like, he was like, we got to get a stimulus package out there. But like all I got out of that was like, um, I had to do a challenge to kill someone with a gun I hated. And Phil was like, you must do this or pay an extra $10 instantly level up to 25. Make your choice, asshole. I was like, this uh, doesn't feel like a stimulus uh, package. Phil, this feels like, uh, <laughs> this feels like chores again. So you've been playing Halo? I played like a night of it with uh, the gang and mm -hmm. I had fun, but then everyone was like, this isn't painful enough. I'm turning on, I'm going to get into ranked. I'm going to become yeah. a platinum gamer. And I I'm like, I'm more like, like a bronze gamer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hate ranked. I can't do ranked I, stuff. I've played some and I've really enjoyed it. I've only played solo so far, but I've loved it. Like, I was thinking about, uh, I was thinking about getting a small group together with like, what, since you were back, like with you, me, Manda, and like Gmart or something, like people that play it that yeah. aren't good. I don't know. I haven't asked a Gmart, so he might be good, but I'm assuming he, he sucks at games. Boy. He played. He was. I saw him complaining about ranked, saying something about Oddball. Oh no, that's like that's like Gmart too far gone. Good. Ranked. If you're yeah, talking about Oddball, yeah. like I have yeah. no context to Oddball. Gmart is plat too, dude. I. D <sighs> He's plat too. That that was fast. Nah, Is people it... are like doing like one placement game and getting plat. Oh, because people, they, dude, there's actually this ratio of players that don't know how to play Halo and are actually fucking depressingly bad. And they're yeah, like free kills, yeah. and they play ranked anyways. Like I've seen them, I've encountered them in other game modes. Like there, there's like you get either people that know how to play Halo or you have people that genuinely don't understand what the melee button is and will just shoot <laughs> yeah. at you until they die. Oh yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, it's, uh, so it's like you have a 50-50 chance of bumping into a real player and then it's a fight or you're instantly fucking uh, blown up. And it's because it's free to play. So you're getting in that you're getting children, you know, yeah, oh, that's true. That that's are like true. used to playing their Call of Duties and not the used to like the loop of Halo is that all oh, the problem with any free to play game in a week. When are you going to answer that? Week? No, I actually don't know how to turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> you could grab that. No, it's fine. Phone. You can go ahead and grab that if you want. It's fine. Not big deal. I was away and I <laughs> oh, that, that fucking sucks, dude. Up. That sucks yeah. big time. I think I turned it off. How er <laughs> how early was it into the trip though that you broke it in half? I, you know what? It was, was it the worst moment? It was just before I got on the plane <laughs> to come back. I had it for most of the oh, trip. Oh, oh, I thought you meant yeah. to get on the plane to go, and no, I'm like, that sucks. Here's the thing. Going so bad. Security, I was like. That phone had every document I need to get through security. So it was like, I can't, I'm on the plane. It's not like I can ask anyone to help me. So when I land, they're either going to deport me oh my or God. Like, <laughs> like, let me through. <laughs> so it was, it was fine, though. It was fine. Dude, luckily. I've never broken a phone. I've never dropped my phone. I'm, I swear, dude, like, here's the thing when it comes to phones. If you get, like, one of those super cases that are made to survive the apocalypse oh, that will outlive yeah. you, you never drop your phone again. Like, it's like it's like a psychology thing. Yeah. You'll never yeah, drop it again. Drop when they like that. Because it's like, I don't know. They, but I, di I didn't have a case, which was my mistake. I didn't have yeah, one at all. Yeah, you gotta have a case, or else... You've thrown someone else's phone. Oh, chat, come on. I told you about the bed story, right? Oh, yes. I think I remember this. When I hucked his phone at him, he yes. asked me to throw it to him from, like, fucking 10 feet away. Like, yes. you know, like a complete fool. Like, like a fool. You, why would you ask for someone to throw your phone? Uh, because he thought I knew how to throw things. And I did know how to throw things, perhaps too well. It was the little league. Yeah, I gave him. So, I gave him some spin. Yeah, and I threw it hard enough to pierce <laughs> like the wall behind him. <laughs> I held B. I held I B. <laughs> the charge bar filled up. I did it. I did it perfect. Yeah. Okay. And it did like a big, like you know, maximum slam animation. Yeah. And then I threw it with like it was fire exploding off it, and it uh, blew through the wall right behind him and killed uh you know the person next door in the next room. The school bus next door, unfortunately, was full of children. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. Yeah. Dave, why but did yeah. you have to make me a murderer, like a full on like multi murderer in your yes and for this? Why, why'd you have to why'd you have to take it at far? Yeah. <laughs> it's the implication. <laughs> <laughs> the implication is usually they die. No, they just saw someone die. The guy next door, but they, they were just in they were also there, you know? <laughs> Whatever you say, man. Either way, you should play you should you, we should play Halo, dude. Not today yeah. or on stream. God fucking no, never on no. stream. I I contemplated it today, uh, and I was like, I, no, I shouldn't do that. Like, I, it's, a, it's a gaming game. There's and, only two ways you can do it, and actually, it would be possibly like one. No, I'd be miserable here. I think to do it, but like in some situations, I think there's a benefit to being so bad at a competitive shooter game <laughs> that people find it sort of funny, like watching a toddler try to make sense of a video game. They don't know what they're doing, and if you never try to get better, it's just funny, right? <laughs> like, Wait, so you mean like making the same mistake? Yeah, That's like no, 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 like legit. Like when I played with the group, we were just getting into cars and running people over, and then driving ourselves and our teammates off of like cliffs with us oh, oh, and like doing bits and stuff yeah but like when you're suddenly when you reach that threshold you're like i gotta get good i i oh, really yeah. gotta get good people are starting to pick on me like that's when it gets bad you know what i mean yeah that's true you need to you need to not care because the yeah. second you care is the second chat members start thinking that you care enough to read their messages about how to improve your gameplay. And, and oh, a uh, dude, that have you followed the story of League of Legends new show, which has no, I haven't the, watched any of it. And people playing League, so now every every single person and their dog uh, in every chat ever for League of Legends being like, so. I'm pretty rusty, but I have a few tips for you. I can see that you're trying to play fiddlesticks right now. I, it's just been Sam playing, honestly. Oh. Um, but, but, like, a lot of people are now, like, looking at League with those eyes and being I... like, I could give you some tips that would make you 0.63% better, my guy. I 
fucking I'll give uh, Riot one thing. That show looks pretty nice. I have yeah. not turned it on because I was I'm fearful that what it is is basically play leak propaganda, which it sounds like it is based off of the amount of people that suddenly I mean, start playing it after. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's definitely to get people to play league. But it sucks that it's really good, apparently. I haven't seen any of it, but uh I haven't watched any of it either, but that was mainly because they were doing that like uh like three episodes a week thing, which on Netflix is my maybe the most cursed format I could ever think of. Is that how they did it? Yeah, they like split it. Now it's all out, but like they split it into like three weeks of releases. And I was like, what the hell? That's what strange. are you guys fucking doing? That yeah, that's true, because it released the first one released the day I left. And then the last one was like yesterday or today. Dude, people in chat are like, I didn't return after watching it, so... But yeah, <laughs> but the difference is the keyword here, return. Like, you've already seen hell. <laughs> you were already true. there, so you had some context. Me, if I go, the only thing I remember is the one game of League I played where Buck literally screamed at me because I stole his kill in an unranked oh. match. <laughs> Like, literally, like, full-on stop the game was like, oh, Tomato, what the fuck are you tomato. doing? Like, screamed oh. at me. League is so much worse, because normals in League are, like, ranked in any other game. So there's no, like, if you want to play, like, baby mode, where it's not serious, you play a bot game. And that's, like, they're, like there's probably people with no hands or eyes or ears who win bot games. Yeah, dude, you know, here's the thing, though. Whenever people are like, you should go play League, I say, why don't we both go play Awesome Knots, baby? Hell, dude, let's Bro, go. I know, I know. <laughs> That's where the real game was, and everyone was, everyone was sleeping on it back in the day. All right? What about Awesome Knots? When awesome are they going to make another Awesome Knots, dude? Oh, I don't know, man. I don't think they ever. I think I think the answer is uh, never. I remember having that on PS3 and listening to the intro every single time, like the whole way through, because it was so good. Oh man, that game was some fucking good shit. And then they and then other games had to become more popular. What a bunch of bullshit! You know what I mean? Yeah, I like, don't get how games work. I don't like. Is this is why I'm quitting gaming. I don't understand what the hell's going on. You know, like uh, it's a mess. It's a mess out there. Really all the is. games I like are not the ones other people like, <laughs> and the how games everyone happen? likes make no sense to me. How do how do how do these things happen? How do these Where things happen? Why aren't there any games up? for the common everyman like me? Yeah, tomato like, gaming, like Candy Crush. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, all my Candy Crush fans in chat. I Look, dude, guys. all all I need is Peggle and alternative forms of Peggle. Okay, Peggle those are the only though. times it, <laughs> kinds of games I fucking need in my life, and anything else is too much noise. Candy Grunch says someone in chat. Yeah, is that an attack? What are you? <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say? I did just. I'm just saying what I what I see. <laughs> I, I get it, but what what does that mean? I don't I don't fucking know. I, I'm just saying what I fucking see. I I see it. I say it to relay it to you. Sometimes I'll just see things that I think will like uh, get a response out of you, arise, and I just say them because I because I I need that. You know, I need that kind of response happening. You know, I was at when when I was on out. <laughs> I was with family for a little bit. And I was taking apart something. Uh, it was like a table, and there were like lots of uh, nuts and bolts on it. And they were like, "Oh, uh, can I'm gonna go get you like uh, some like wrenches and stuff? Can you take this apart while we like get working on stuff?" And I knew in my mind, I was gonna grunch the head of some of the mm. some of them. And, <laughs> and I tried with all of my might to avoid it completely, but then. My, I think it was my uncle that came in and he said, don't grunch that. And I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Even you. All of them, they all, all fucking know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. God, that's it was great. That's, yeah, there's something oh. there's something sort of nice about that when everyone's in on the cursed cursed joke, the yeah. cursed word. Yeah. It's like but a, they, it's a they generational thing. They all know it. Yeah. 
Well, they were like the engineers and stuff. So, my stupid word, I'm, <laughs> I told my mum. She probably told them, and was like, "This is what he calls it," and they laughed at me for years. <laughs> and they, and now they use it lovingly and yeah. affectionately. I mean, how fucking pissed are you gonna be though if like you have a kid and they grunch the first thing, like the very first thing they I fucking would, do? Like, would what if like, they grunch it though? Firstly, that's that's more worth to me than a DNA test that it's my kid. If they grunch uh, it, if they grunch it, because uh, <laughs> that is exactly what I would have done without knowing. That's my child. <laughs> that's uh, him. <laughs> <laughs> That's that one's mine. And then I'll be really pissed because he's ruined something. And now <laughs> he's probably never gonna fix it. Ever. God, yeah, that is fucking true. Like you gotta remember how fucking miserable it is if you got if you like just grunch a nail or a screw or something, fuck that yeah, thing up forever. That destroy, thing is ruined. Just like destroy the whole thing. It's awful. God. And that's why once I quit gaming today and I'm done with gaming, I also won't be getting into anything involving construction, engineering, or carpentry. <laughs> Okay. Uh, because those are too grunch. There's too many different things that can go wrong. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm getting yeah. back into, uh, I'm getting back into tech deck actually. Tech deck? Yeah. I picked up tech deck. Uh, year, year 2021 was the year of tech deck for me. <laughs> yeah, uh, and I managed yeah. to not do any tech deck all year, but I did own the finger skateboard and the finger skateboard glove. Uh, I'm, I have uh, I'm them. talking about bringing back tech decks, but what about oids? Can we get some oids? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a disease. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is oid? You mean zoids? What, what is zoids? Zoids is like little fucking uh, mechs. It was kind of like uh, Gundams, but animals. No, okay, that's nothing like oids. What the fuck oids? is oids? <laughs> oids are these two, <laughs> they're two magnets, <laughs> and all you do is throw them up in the air, and they magnetically like hit each other. They get pulled in and they go, they like zap, so they go, zzz, and that's all they do. But it was marketed as this awesome toy that you <laughs> could like do tricks with, and it's just magnet. I look up oids and I get so, I, I get so little about the toys and I get a lot about like loss. Oh, I see it! Yeah, those are like fucking ovals. Yeah, yeah, and it would show kids, like, playing with them, but it would be a magnet on a table, and the kid's just spinning the other one around, and it makes the other one spin. And they're like, oids! These are like Beyblades, but they're just uh, magnets! Yeah, I mean, I don't think, I think the, the, look, dude, I think the skill ceiling for oids is pretty low. Matter of fact, oh, I'd say no it's way. kind of like, it's like four no. feet from the ground, meaning I have to no, duck to get into the room. You... Dude, I saw a kid in school throw three oids in the air and catch all of them. And they ma they magnetize. Oh, bro, <laughs> I've seen a kid catch three things in the air, dude. You wouldn't believe it. All oh, three. <laughs> you mean the thing jugglers do? Like over and over again to simply juggle one time? It's exactly like that. But I don't know how to juggle. I never, I didn't know how to juggle back then either. It's still impressive right now. <laughs> it's like you just grabbed a less impressive version of juggling, made that the new bar, which was way lower and less <laughs> impressive than juggling. Impressive. And we're like, this is the one I'll do. <laughs> it's a magnetic. That's a whole. Like, I've invented a new sport called uh, buggling, which is you just <laughs> throw two of them. There's no more than two of them ever. <laughs> <laughs> Two is the highest it can go. If I'm, you see, first you have to buggle before you can juggle. That's the thing we've said now. Because if you have two, you're only buggling. But when you add a third, then you're cool, like the oids kid. But but <laughs> if you can do more than three. You're in you're in dangerous waters. You can't juggle that many. It's dangerous. It's Dude. hard. I, I remember when kids would like bring in their fucking funny little hobby and show it off in front of everyone, like the lunchroom oh. and stuff. I always thought it was fucking yeah. like cringe. Dude, what do you call the one where they had like the hourglass shaped thing and the strings? Do you know that one? Uh, that no. Uh, there were a couple weird ones in school where kids were like, dude, check out this stupid fucking thing I have. And then it would do something stupid and you'd be like, wow, I can't wait till they lose that in like a day and the teacher would take we, it away. We had a thing where it was like show and tell that kids got to do that. And the kids who had like these weird like skill toys would bring them in and they would have them on the playground before show and tell. And the teachers would be like, Timmy, now hold on, that's for show and tell. So don't break it. We need to, you need to show your skill in front of the class at 5, 5 p.m. or whenever it was. 
And so we had like a yo-yo kid. We had uh, yo-yos were fun as fuck, though. To be honest, yo-yos are one of the good ones. If you were actually good at yo-yos, like you could deal with three of them at a time. It looked. I was afraid of yo-yos, though. Why? I I didn't fucking like them. I thought that they were a risky uh, gambit. Is it like a like you'll hurt yourself? Yeah, like I'll, like you- dude, I got fucking long fingers and big hands. Okay, so for me, okay, a yo-yo comes up. I need a big yo-yo to feel comfortable in that space. I need a big, powerful yeah. yo-yo that could sever a finger if it was grabbed wrong. And unfortunately, I'd almost always grab it wrong because I got terrible hand-eye oh. coordination, and like my finger would get like caught up in the string, and then it would snap my goddamn finger off. I can't tell you the amount of fingers I lost. The nurse took away the yo-yo. Oh. I can't use them anymore. You know one which one was really fucking dumb? And I think kids deserve to be bullied for it, but they never did. A cup what? stacking. Cups. Remember cup stacking? Yeah. Remember when they'd stack yeah. the cups? And you'd be like, wow, dude, it oh. sure is just them stacking cups. It's stupid because, like, there's a specific order you have to do it in. And when you're, like, just playing with them as a non-cup stacker, they're like, no, do it like this. You need to make them all go up into the five t- tower and then down and then up, but then you go halfway and you do three towers. It's the dumbest the fucking five. shit. And like, I'd always sit there staring at them, and I and they'd like there'd be kids that would sit around, look around like the cafeteria, and be like, "God, I hope no teachers are watching." And then they'd like pull out their backpack and pull out their artisanal professional cup stacking yeah. kit. And I'd be yeah, like, "It's just cups." <laughs> yeah, we deal with like fucking anything. It's just cups. <laughs> And, and they'd, they like, like, go, like, faster than the eye could comprehend. And I'm yeah. like, what the yeah. fuck, dude? Who? Oh can- what is happening? They'd pull out, like, the little timer. Dude, I'd have kids that would actually pull out the little timer, like, a little hand timer, put it on the desk with them, and start timing themselves and doing it. I'm like, yo, dude, imagine if you invested this time into, I don't know, fucking, like, doing your homework, school, doing anything. <laughs> You're literally here for school and you brought cups. Like, imagine, <laughs> like, as a teacher, I would be like, I'd rather you bring your Game Boy in than cups. Yeah, at least it's a cool new toy. I, like, if I take away the Game Boy, it'll make sense. If my if I get asked by your parents why I took away your cups, I'm gonna get fired. Like I those cups were lightweight carbon cups for my son to practice his maximum speed stacking. Please give them back. <laughs> give him back the cups. What's the matter? The cups with you? are bruised. Do you know what this means? <laughs> uh. Yeah, I remember. I remember all those things. I remember the weird fuzzy worm with the string. Yeah, that one oh was a God. weird one. That was what a weird did that time. Do? What was that all about? It was like, well, you'd like the you couldn't see the string. It was like magic, except it was like that really lame magic where everyone could actually totally see the string. Yeah, and you could tell. But what the was worm going would on. look like it was alive. The sad thing was that every once in a while, someone's worm would uh, break, and it would actually yeah. be kind of depressing because it would be like, oh, that worm just literally died in front of everyone. <laughs> like that one that one string snapped it's as good as dead and they throw it in the garbage and you'd be like this is sad this is a sad sport dude someone broke broke the worm yeah like did did you ever have stuff in school that was like or we we would have it like golden time where it's like at the end of the week you just get to like play for maybe an hour or half an hour before the end of school and that would be the really competitive, like, toys that kids wanted to play with. Yeah. So you had to ask the teacher. And then one day someone breaks that, and they are the, like, public enemy number one. Oh, for, yeah. Like, week. Yep. It's like, you broke the Gundam toy. I am going to murder you. <laughs> it's like, yeah, no, I, 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 I think kids held those kinds of uh, fucking grudges for a long, long time. Uh, matter of fact, I do think that it persisted all the way through elementary, middle school. If someone broke something like that, I remember one person did break like a Gundam esque toy in one of those scenarios, and I remember them uh, staying back the next year. <laughs> oh, so, and I'm not saying those things are yeah, those things go together, but I yeah, remember them yeah. staying back, and everyone like everyone seemed really happy when they found out that they were like being held back for a year. <laughs> and I was like, what? Why is everyone so? Did like did everyone coordinate? Getting rid of this person from our school grade? They sabotaged them. Like, did grade. we sabotage their grades or something to keep them from <laughs> from proceeding to the next year? Maybe they year? were afraid of if they stayed yeah. with that group, they'd be a social pariah forever. That is true. You know, there is there is a logic to that, I suppose. Uh, staying back to, <laughs> to avoid, avoid to, to to avoid the social ang- like the social misery of being the guy who broke the Gundam toy. 
<laughs> I always thought about like uh getting held back in school and being like dude you could just be the boss of the, of the no nah but here's the thing those kids when you're held back and you go into the year after you okay yeah those kids aren't dumb enough to be like he's bigger than us he's the boss they're just gonna be like he's dumber he's so dumb he's probably dumber than us <laughs> the thing is, imagine this <laughs> he's dumber than dirt <laughs> we're gonna walk all over him imagine this though like it's you're at the age where you you're getting a growth spurt so you're like two feet taller than the other kids in the class so they're like, oh. <laughs> yeah, but dude, here's the oh, thing. No, nah, dude, but I swear to God, when it came to school, size did not matter for how much of a douchebag someone was to another person because they aren't old enough to realize how much weight matters in a fight until the fight happens. So unless That's a fight true. happens, they have no context to be like, they, they just think they're dense. The, the, the small kid yeah. that's like a bully will just be like, I'm, I'm dense. I can punch you in half. <laughs> I can punch through rocks and walls. I do karate. Like you, you need someone to throw that out. person that's like two feet taller than them. So they're like, wait a minute. Weight matters. And I'm so weak compared to them. Yeah. Like, I, like I, a kid that was always a dickhead in fucking high school. Like to everyone was like three feet shorter than me. And I was like, oh. dude, the only reason you're able to do this is because no one wants to be the guy that throws, like, the fucking, like, very short bully into, like, a fucking trash bin. Because we've all talked and thought about it, but none of us do because we don't feel like dealing with it. <laughs> I think, I think, you know, you get to see those, like, cool fights in high school where it's not really a fight, but it's more like someone who had it coming finally gets it. Yeah. And everyone, like, claps and cheers at the end and stuff. But, oh, man. But you're right. The the bully kids for, like, early school are always the tiny, the really short and just, like, talkative fellas. But as you get older, you realize that the bullies actually now become the successful and good-looking people, like in university. There's not really bullies, but it's, like, they they have more power than you. Mm. You don't get a say as much as those guys because they look good. Yeah, good news is none of that shit matters. Lot. Like oh, at no. a certain threshold, and it's like who fucking cares, dude? You know, like oh yeah. man, no, no, it don't, it don't. None of it matters. The only thing that ever did matter was um back when the bullies would um be able to stash paddles in the locker rooms of my high school, and no one ever questioned. Like yeah, they had board? they made wood paddles in carpentry class. <laughs> To, to haze freshmen. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, I only oh, saw it used once, and the person got uh, suspended for two weeks after. Wait, like, hazing was a thing? Like, hey, oh, dude, hazing's totally still a thing. Really? Yeah. Did you get hazed? No. Th god, no. I was taller than them. <laughs> oh, yeah. They were, see, nice. the bullies, once you reach, like, senior year, you've been in fights, and you start to, like, s realize the people you don't want to start fight with anymore. And like, no, I was I was big enough that no one was gonna fucking do st shit like that with me. But there was absolutely a kid in my uh, JV soccer team that got paddled after a game, <laughs> like full on. Like, Dave, I'm talking. You could hear it from outside the building paddled. As in, we were still on the bus, getting like off the bus, years, and you're hearing this like this fucking echoing slap, and then a scream, and the fucking coaches, their faces white, white as the Arctic waste, storm into the locker room trying to save this poor boy. It was a, it was fucking terrifying. That is awesome. That is so funny. Yeah, oh I mean, the kid had it coming. <laughs> but uh it was fucking funny it was so oh, funny geez. and I fucked up <laughs> <laughs> i remember the one time it's the closest thing i ever got to hazing but i remember one time i stayed after school for like a, a like club or a lesson and my friend's older brother was there with his friends because they were doing something as well and i just decided to be like you guys stick! And they grabbed me, <laughs> took me back into school, and threw me in a locker. But our lockers were <laughs> so they put me on top of it and left me there. And then a teacher came out 
and he thought I was dancing on top of the lockers because of all the noise. And then they all left, and it was just me. And then I got in trouble again for being on top of the lockers. Dude, that is so <laughs> sad. <laughs> <laughs> why'd you go why'd you put yourself out there <laughs> I just, I didn't, cause one of the guys was my friend's brother like my one friend from high school it, it, who's still my friend today it was his brother so Damn, I was dude. like I know this guy I know who he is I'm gonna be okay <laughs> and they all like one of them lived near me so I thought they'd be cool and they thought, dude, joke. if you look, <laughs> bud, if I was walking down the street and you looked at me and you said, you stink, I'd fucking take you down. OK, I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't know. I don't care how long we've known each other. That's like such as a wild fucking like half insult to say where it's, it doesn't even feel like it's playful. You just called someone. You just said that someone stinks. Like it was I, my first year of secondary school. Like that's all I had. I didn't know. Anything yeah, well, I, 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 hey, it was a good learning experience. At least you didn't get like paddled. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Like now, thinking that I could have got paddled, I'm so glad. We yeah, didn't you didn't get paddled. That. Nothing really that bad happened. You didn't get like <laughs> fucking actually thrown into a toilet. Oh my god! Yeah, that would have been. No, I've seen some. Look, dude, I. Swirly? Yeah, no. You think that the people think they're jokes, but they happen. They're real. Matter of oh fact, god. almost everything. The senior class when I was a freshman for like JV varsity, like the soccer program at my school, was yeah. um accursed. I would say. Oh my uh, god. They were the seniors and juniors were a different kind of psycho, and I was cool with all of them because I stayed in my fucking lane as you do as a smart freshman, and I didn't fucking <laughs> act like an idiot. Yeah. But holy hell, I saw some of the other freshmen that thought they were big shit get fucking all kinds of horrible, heinous shit done to them. Oh my god! Yeah, See, it was a bad time. I think I I was not I was I was not very wild. I think that I had that one time where the older kids. That was the one time I would say I got I got put in my place that one time. But generally, I was I I knew some of the other ones because on my first day going to school. I didn't know where the school was. So I asked someone to show me the way to school who was like in his oh, final year. No. So everyone thought that was my brother. So all the older kids were cool with me. Oh. The, yeah. They thought my. The, Did this person one day betray brother. you though? No. He was cool the whole time. Nice. Uh, he eventually told them that's not my brother, but they just kept calling me that. <laughs> so it was fine. Dude, that's and a the pretty good break. I hated were the other the other freshmen? It would have been so all of the wars and you know the bad things that happened for me were with people I could handle because none of them would ever be that much bigger than me at any yeah. point. I mean, I never, I never got into many. I, I I wasn't a very confrontational or like really the kind of person in any sort of sense when I was younger that would uh, start up a fight with someone. I just wouldn't. Yeah. So you wouldn't catch me saying that someone stinks in the hallway because I just didn't think it was worth the effort. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, no, that's stuff. It was mostly psychos fighting psychos in my school. Everyone else just kind of watched in silence, like uh, completely baffled at what was happening. Like you wouldn't get bullies yeah. fighting other people other than other bullies. Almost like sort of turf wars. That's true. Uh, but like pathetic turf wars between two people that are both pretty small and don't know how to fight. So yeah. it'd be like a slap fight. And everyone would just be like staring, completely baffled that this is happening again for the fourth time this week, uh, for for like nothing over nothing. But you know the ones that were actually the scariest. Did you ever see a girl fight? No, fight between never happened. Girls? Never, never ever happened it in is my school. On a different level to like bullies or like just boys fighting over football. It's like. It's like blood and thunder. It's crazy. I <laughs> yeah, it never happened out where I live. I don't know why. I think I think everyone I think everyone was just too busy trying to survive in our shitty <laughs> rural town where nothing fucking happens. There there was no reason to escalate to a fight that much yeah. to begin with. I, I guess people always say that like boys will fight, but girls will do like this weird thing of being really passive aggressive yeah they let it they let it grow the anger inside of them the yeah. rage 
they let it grow and fester and try and basically mind game other girls into hating themselves, which is crazy. Yeah, okay. Uh, so the fact that they fought meant actually that was better than the alternative, which is just basically a an early form of gaslight. Well, no, they probably did do the early gaslight for like two years before the fight. And it probably just reached a breaking point where eventually the fight was a death. It was destined. You know what I mean? Yeah. That someone should die that day. Well, it's also odd. Were your fights ever organized? Like you declare a fight and everyone. Would I tried to declare a fight once uh, when someone yeah. kept throwing shit at my head on the bus. And I was like, dude, you fucking I, I was like, in ju I was in sophomore year and this guy was a junior. And I was like, all right, we get off that fucking bus. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> and uh he was it was like a fucking ghost town out there once i got off the bus the pace at which they evacuated from that scenario was uh fucking staggering so no oh. if you announce a fight the pr other person will bail so fucking fast oh dude that's the point or like the thing is when we, we announced fights it would be hey so john said he's gonna fight terry tell everyone to be at the bike sheds after school today and everyone would show up it wouldn't just be like you know two people because what would happen is the kids in the older years would find out and they'd show up and they'd like they'd like be the referees to be like all right guys no weapons just fists no stomping if you go down and they're stomping on you we'll break up the fight and oh my now God. go so if you didn't show up everybody knew that you didn't show up Everyone knew. It's like so a fight club at this point, dude. I mean, but like it was a good way to work it out because if, if there was a fight like that, there was always a reason, like a just cause, like it's a duel <laughs> for, for, for <laughs> fighting in school. If it was an impromptu fight, like, oh, you know, we're just walking in, the guy pushes me and I decide to fight back, then people would hear about it. But, like, it's not as good as the organized fight that people show up for. And we even had fights between other schools. So it'd be, our guy from our school is going here to fight someone from a different school, and here's the reason why. Uh, and it was like, it's like a whole thing. <laughs> right, well, like I mean, whole... Dave, I think this is a good question. Like, when, when has the person escalated enough that you start a fight with them? Like, they walk by. You're walking down the hallway. All right. Yeah. Freshman year. No, sophomore year. You're a little more confident than you were before. <laughs> okay. This this other sophomore just transferred in. All right. First day here. Mm -hmm. He walks by you and he goes, fuck's that smell? You smell. And he keeps walking. Is that enough <laughs> for you to do something yet? If he was brand new in school, yes, it would be enough. That would be I'd... that would genuinely be enough for you to turn around and be like, you're it, fucking dead. It, it depends on the kid. Because I remember... There was a new kid that came into school around our second or third year. So, and he was like a big guy. And he was just like a bit of an asshole. He was quiet at first, because they always are. But then the only things he would say were a little bit of like, you know, kind of like an asshole to people. So he said something to a guy. And then <laughs> and then they're like, all right, dude, you're a prick. Meet me at after school and we'll we'll have a fight. And he went, all right, man. We'll go. And then they had a fight. And that was all that that's how it happened. It, it's in that's enough. God, you guys fought all over fucking anything. At this point, I'm assuming if someone walked by you in the hallway and like accidentally bumped into you and dropped your book on the floor, you'd tackle them before trying to pick your book back up. Genuinely, I think that might have happened. <laughs> <laughs> Not Just... me, obviously. No one would do that to me, is the thing. But I remember one time. My friend, like a kid from a, a lower year, pushed over one of my friends. So he had a hit put out on him. And so a after hit. school, he was cornered. Yeah. It, it, it's it's the same as a fight that you don't have an option to fight. Uh-huh. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a fight that they don't fight. know they, they can, <laughs> like, you know, they don't know what's coming, no. this fight. It's more no, like an assassination. Oh, no, 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 no. A hit they, is a nicer way to say an assassination. No, they know it's coming because they're like... <laughs> After school, you're dead. And, like, then we'll stop propagating. We'll tell everyone. That's not a hit we'll anymore. That's an announced fight. They don't have the, the ability yeah, to decline. Like you, don't, you don't get to say no. It, like, we will find you. No, but here's the thing, bud. And this is the thing I don't get. 
<laughs> if I walk up to someone and I say, I'm going to destroy you, um, I'm going to, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to break you in half. Uh, th and then they reply and say, no, I don't think so. I'm going to say, what? No, I'm, I'm really going to destroy you. Like, it sounds like in your school system, someone else would be like, it's over, tomato. He said he won't do it. No, you have two options, and it's tell the teachers or apologize. That's all you can do. Otherwise, you're fighting. Like, that's it. I mean, isn't it? I mean, in my, where I'm from, if you told the teachers, that's like a social death sentence. That's worse than getting beat oh, up. Well, like it, it, it is a little bit. But the thing is, you can, do, and I, I firmly believe there were some rats who did this, where they'd be like, "I'm a little worried about the state of the bike sheds today after school at three thirty. I think there needs to be a teacher there today. And then they slide a, a 50 underneath the table and the teacher nods and they go, okay, I'll make sure the bike sheds are really safe today after school. Oh so my what God. would happen is the teachers would have like three extra teachers stationed near the bike sheds <laughs> and they would watch the gathering happen. And as soon as the fight starts, they'd break it up. And, and that was it. And it and it sucked. It sucked because the fight is sacred, and it shouldn't be interrupted by teachers. But they pull. They've had to like pull people off each other, and like some people get in trouble for blocking the teachers on purpose to get into the middle of the circle. Like we tried to hold out as long as we could, but most people would just scatter. Dude, like, it's just like I don't get why. And this is the thing I I do not understand when it comes. If you're taking the effort to coordinate a fight, why would you do it where like a teacher can easily stop you? Ah, so here's another thing: when you fight not on school grounds. Sometimes the police can get involved instead. Yeah, of but like the police just like look around for a second and be like, I don't see any cops unless <laughs> one of you's a cop. And then you just check to see if there's any cop that's just standing in the group and already. There, there were times where like there could be like real gangs, like not, I say real gangs. It's still like school children age, but people who might carry knives. And if they see a fight and for some reason, know someone there or want to get involved we have no protection mm -hmm. against that so school grounds is a safe place to fight and don't don't fight in the park that's a bad idea that's always a bad idea because yeah then wild play. animals get involved yeah because <laughs> they're, they're yeah. starving they're so fucking hungry if they see two animals fighting they're gonna try to get a chunk at, like they're gonna try to get a chunk out of there like a chunk of meat out of the fight at least yeah. that happens out here. Like, if you get into a fight out in a park out here, a goose will run up and try to, like, pull a piece of your calf out to, like, get it for themselves. We actually had school geese uh, who, if you were on their land, you were dead. The geese would get you. And it's very and we would fight near their land, so they would, they would see. They'd never get involved, though, because they understood how sacred the fight was, but... They, they was something Dude, else. it's just like, I don't think you need that much time for fight anyway, so it's like, if a teacher, even if a teacher's there, they got they gotta be really fucking quick on the draw to, like, stop a fight before it's yeah, over. I mean, like, do. out here, it's like, dude, legit, I was talking about this, like, yesterday when I did, like, a tier list for, like, fighting animals, and a lot of animals, I assume the same applies to most humans when it comes to, like, real fights, is it's a QTE? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a QTE where the person that clicks the fastest in the Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3 clash... Uh, <laughs> yes, like when they both do the same it. move, the her person yeah. who clicks the fastest Brian in the clash Blair. immediately yeah. wins the whole fight. Yep. Like yep. there's no oh. there's no tactics. It's whoever makes the first uh whoever impacts first. Yeah. You know. So it's like you don't really well, need you don't really need that much time to like you know it's just whoever hits the other person in the face first because then that person's like ow ow like I feel like I went to school with some real monstrous people because there were a good few people where. I saw this guy break his wrist punching someone, and he just still used his other dude, hand. Dude, that's fucking, like, that's but, adrenaline, dude. Adrenaline is fucked up. It's messed up. It's crazy how I, much adrenaline I, can I, I, I could head. destroy someone with enough adrenaline. I mean, anyone could. You get enough adrenaline, you can just fucking... I mean, I have... I, I actually did actually break my pinky once in karate during a sparring match. I kept going because I like, just didn't feel it. Yeah, yeah, I uh, I tore a tendon in my finger one time, and I didn't realize for like twenty minutes that I couldn't move like the last 
digit of my finger like the little bone connection yeah like it was just stuck yeah dude my little toe it's crazy is fucked up still to this day uh that got fucked i got stomped on uh in like freshman year like soccer oh man and it was just like well i'm gonna wrap my foot now whenever i play (laughs) i'll just wrap (laughs) it like nothing genuinely nothing else changed i barely like it just like it, it was just fucked forever and i was like do i get like a I asked the doctor and I was like, do I get like a like cast for this? And they laughed in my face and they're like, no, just like oh. fucking like you don't use your little toe for anything. Just don't fuck it up anymore. LOL. I was like, OK, <laughs> just deal with it. But unless it's a technical knockout, then it can last a good amount of time. If you have two two monsters going at or two to just like frothing people. angry like animals They're either both incredibly weak or both incredibly strong because otherwise it would be over instantly and that would be uh the guy lifts you up throws you on the ground and begins to wail on you until you yield that's true people are asking who wins in a fight between you and i i think it's qte again it's it's, it's, budokai it's three, gonna be QTE. qte budokai yeah like uh, you're, uh, we're gonna charge each other. We're both gonna throw punches. It's whoever like angles the punch best on the QTE. Yeah. And then like one of us immediately goes down because like I I have a high pain threshold, but like I have uh I have a low um uh enthusiasm threshold, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, Which is to say, yeah. once I start feeling any kind of like if I'm winded at all during our little tussle, I'm done. Like I, honestly, it's like I just don't care anymore, and I'll like put my fist down, and we will no longer fight, and I'll crack open a coke. <laughs> yeah, we'll crack crack open a coke. As soon as I hear that, it's over. <laughs> I can't fight anymore. It's that's it. <laughs> yeah, we will. We will no longer we'll, fight after that. Yeah, so we, we've got. We, we have no just about fight. one clash in us, yeah, and then we're done. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's how it goes. Forever. You know what's a real fucking crime that happened recently? YouTube got rid of dislikes. Are they gone? They're gone now. You can't see them unless you're the they person that made the video. About them for a while. Uh, yeah. Getting rid about. Uh, yeah, they finally. They dislikes. finally did it. They, they did finally it. did it. Wow. And you know what? It sucks because now everyone will think that that fucking Coke ad is good. <laughs> <laughs> because the only way that you can formulate an opinion on YouTube is by looking at the uh, likes and dislikes. Yeah, the ratio. Oh, and honestly, I was like, when I when they first talked about it, and they were like, we're getting rid of dislikes, I was like, eh, I don't really care. But after like a week of them missing for some channels, and now all of them, for the most part, now I'm not liking it. Because now I'm like looking at videos, and I'm like, I can't, now I don't, I actually don't know if this is good or not until I've invested time into it. And I don't have time anymore. I have so little time compared to me like two years ago. The thing is, for it, what you don't read comments, I'm guessing, because I don't read. Oh them and God, no! Because like reading comments is far more. It's a better metric of what people think about the video than just like dislikes. It's like why they disliked it. But now that dislikes are gone, I don't want to read the comments on just how like terrible most of them are. Like they they they're so awful to go through and there's so many of them and it's like uh, can i just see how many people like me didn't want to leave a comment but will say this is good or bad uh it's hmm. they might change it i you youtube takes about two years to undo changes they actually push through Hmm. so it might be it might be a little bit before youtube's like and dislikes are back baby and then everyone by then will be like dislikes i haven't heard that word in a thousand years it's been so long. I don't like seeing this red bar anymore. Yeah. See, what they should have done was get rid of comments entirely. Comments? N- no, some people need comments, I think. Not big companies, but like actual YouTubers p- probably enjoy some of them. Very few, but I, few. And maybe this is me talking from the position of someone that's done a lot of YouTube there is maybe an uh, vod vodlets all right no offense but <laughs> one in every 20 of you posts a good comment <laughs> <laughs> the other 19 post a mixture of vomit regurgitated memes and actual racist psycho shit that gets blocked by the comment oh uh, blacklist. Oh okay, oh so God. that's and oh that God. might even be a smaller ratio than that. It might be a that might be even wider net. Yeah, 
Like, and, and <laughs> yes, vodlets. Uh, I'm speaking to you again. I know Wait, twice in a current, row. Current vodlets, like current. The, current comments. vodlets. Oh Some of you God. may even think, oh, but I look at the comments. They're not that bad. You're looking at the ones that it lets through. <laughs> and you're saying it's not that bad. Not, oh, this is good. You're saying it's not that bad. <laughs> now, you're not seeing the dozens that don't get through because I actively have stuff to block those in place. <laughs> Just remember that. <laughs> You're all angels, but there's this dark, 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 so, like, small amount of you that are monsters that uh, say insane things, like maniacs. <laughs> That's, that is really awesome. Thank you, Vodlets. <laughs> Thank you, Vodlets. They're not as bad as the old school VOD Twitch commenters, though. They're not as bad? Do you remember that back when you could comment I mean, on VODs on I uh, Twitch? It, it was super pointless, though. But it was I, pointless. I, but it's funny because no one knew they were uh, watching a VOD when they do it. Oh, so they'd be they like, "Why are you listening yeah. to me?" They like scream at the streamer and like yell at them. I, I remember mods would get like, or I was it mods would get notifications when someone has left a comment on a VOD. And it would sometimes, like, all the ones I saw. Yeah, like, mods would be able to really see all funny, of it. Man. So sometimes yeah. I'd click up at the top of the Twitch thing and be like someone actively having a conversation with me. <laughs> yes, And yes. I'd be sitting there like, dude, I'd see them be happy for a while, having a full conversation with me, then get outraged at something. Yeah. And they'd be like, like frothing at the mouth joke. at me. Yeah. And I'd be like, dude, this was a VOD from two weeks ago. I can't reply. <laughs> I, if even if I did, you'd never see it. You don't. You have no way to receive this. I think he, I, here's my alternative. If you're a VOD watcher, uh, you should just like have the live chat open. Every person watching a VOD should have the live chat open to just be like, "Hey, anyone else watching this VOD?" Yo, bros. And <laughs> <laughs> VOD boy, I'm on VOD number 129 Shout out to the VOD boys, dude And then we all turn on 129 And we watch it together Yeah, but here's the thing If that happened to you live, Dave You're having a good time You've relaunched <laughs> monkey business Okay, pod. and someone comes in And they say Hey guys, fuck this noise, dude I'm watching a VOD from 2019, Dave <laughs> One of the vintages One of the classics <laughs> Fuck this, let's go watch that one And then everyone leaves your stream And uses your chat as as a fucking pr like a chat for this vod i don't think you're gonna like it anymore <laughs> you know is that's so mi that is miserable oh but that's such a good bit that's so awesome oh it's it's funny i think it'd be funny for like two seconds and then you'd be yeah, like you'd be like chat like what's up and they'd be like dream. lol omega lol and like you'd be like what are they laughing about <laughs> yeah, why is this so funny? The is. They just whisper it, they link it to Yeah, each they other. whisper it, you ask, and they say he doesn't know. Oh, that'd be so bad. Yeah. <laughs> that You're right. you would never be able and the worst part is that this is a bit that could happen. There's nothing we can technically <laughs> yeah, do to stop that. I could I could like just delete all my VODs. Yeah, you'd have to delete <laughs> so all the VODs and then people would start posting links to like a fucking bootleg VODs on YouTube yeah, of your channel. <laughs> yeah. Hey, oh, dude, uh, I kind of, uh, I'm like, it's like, it's like if people fucking were, it's like if you were streaming at the same time as me and people were just like, I'm going to use a uh, tomatoes chat to talk about Dave's VOD now. Here we go. <laughs> that's, that's cursed. Like it can that's escalate so good. much farther until it's yeah. just a bunch of screaming. Yeah, it really could. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, it would be, that would be a bad scene. But you know what the saving grace is in all this is? That would take a semblance of organization. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Chat, but also the VOD boys. They couldn't they could never shake hands on that. You know, well yeah. enough to actually do it. Dude, there I, I don't think I've ever seen the chat organize to do anything ever properly. <laughs> other yeah. than like piss bit. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, like that, other like, than a chat yeah. meme that happens when a specific thing happens like a sort of cue that appears on screen like when the streamer goes to the bathroom and they say it's so loud I can't fucking hear myself think. Like that that kind of stuff is about the depth of their capabilities. You know. Yeah.
Oh, man. And there they go. Except they fucked it up because I'm not... It's not happening right now. It's just referencing it. You see, it's exactly well, what I'm talking about. You see, what you did is you actually act... There's a bot that listens out for when you say the word piss, like, or pee, I'm going to go take a piss. And then it just types loud piss. And then it activates the other bots that just regurgitate what someone else in chat says. And so you get like five chain of loud piss and then everyone thinks it's happening and they just stop typing without knowing. Yeah, but it's it's like a disease. All right. It's like a disease that you can't get rid of once <laughs> yeah. one of these bits starts. I added a new emote. What do you think of it? Oh my god. Seen that one? You see that weird? Weird? Yeah. Yeah, that's my that's a new emote. That's a nice one. It's yeah, very thanks. Slow. It's very it's, slow. I honestly want it slower. <laughs> I, I want that thing so slow that it's like <laughs> barely moving. Minutes. <laughs> Ten minutes I want that to be a like two minute loop <laughs> to get back around. That'd be so good. I, 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 I really love it. I bet I, I can find a shorter. I, I bet I can find like one that's even longer. I didn't spend that much time looking. There's a lot of versions of it. I bet I could find one that's like double the frames, triple the frames. You just upload it. Yeah, if I can just make it myself. to do that, yeah. Fuck, dude. You could just add, honestly, at a certain point, if you made one that like didn't even move, you might be able to convince me that it moves. Just and that's so slow, I can't even perceive it anymore. Yeah, it's just like, yeah, dude. Uh, something will happen in like ten minutes. Yeah, yeah, dude. Sure. Just keep, just keep fucking watching. This happens all the time, dude. Dave. Yeah. Have you? Uh, I know we haven't streamed any of this, so this is sort of like a chat's not allowed to even hang out in the space with us. Question: Have you played any Monster Hunter since what happened to us last time? Yeah, I did. Did how'd that go for you? Like. I started farming a heavy bow gun set and trying to finish nice. uh, the what was the final boss called Atalka, doing the gunner set for that. Nice, but like I haven't touched that the big chat. The I want to give you guys context here because I know I just did something psycho, which was start a bit on the stream that you can't even join into. Dave and I beat the entirety of Monster Hunter Double Cross and then thought we were big shit for one second and then got fucking destroyed 18 times on loop by like two monsters and for wasted about record, eight hours of a night. We, uh, we it did was it as a two. Well, that's it was, important because it was No, it wasn't just no, all right. Chat, there was like a fucking we were so confident in ourselves that we could take on anything. We were like, oh yeah, dude, the world's our oyster, we can do whatever we want. We got owned on loop by Devil Joe four times, and then we were like, we need to play more, we need to get more people. We need to get someone oh. else to help us. And then we summon this guy named like uh like Donald the Destroyer or something like <laughs> yeah, crazy. Yeah. And he joins the game, talks a lot of big shit, and then okay. He fucking dies once to the thing. <laughs> and leaves. instantly logs out of the game. <laughs> it, it, it was it, we genuinely ran into a the guy from Spy Kids Three oh, scenario. Yeah. This yeah, guy had like Hunter bad. rank nine hundred ninety nine. He dies once in the game and instantly shuts his switch down in front of us, and we're back to being fucked. We instantly lose again. Yeah. God, it's oh. dude. I wish I. That's why I'm quitting video games. That's why I'm getting into Mighty Beans. Mighty yeah, I, I've decided that uh, no, 2021 was the year of Beyblades. I mean, Tech dude, Deck. Dude, you got to choose Tech Decks or Mighty Beans. Nah, I'll but here's the thing. Okay, want. here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay. I said in 20 the 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 birth of 2021, the the day it happened, that this year it'd be the year of Mighty. I mean, sorry, Tech Deck. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Tech Decks. Yeah. It'd be the year of Tech Decks, and I would drop all streaming in interest of doing Tech Deck. Those finger skateboards, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to be a tech deck master of sorts. Yeah, it's a good cause. The problem was I had no interest in setting up all the filming software and, like, camera buying, like, multiple screen, like, angles yeah. and everything for the tech deck. Also, I was uh, at one time I tried to tech deck upstairs, like just hanging out at like 3 a.m. because I was afraid my parents may find out I picked up a tech deck skateboard. And so I was doing it at night privately and my cat ran up and immediately slapped it out of my hands into um into my vents on the ground. There's like a <laughs> vent on the ground. It fell into the vent. Yeah. And I was like, well, fuck, yeah. I, I have another good. one. I got a pack of two. So that one's fucking gone. I don't really want a tech deck anymore. 
so I'm thinking that uh, I got to get this year. I, I kind of want to drop tech tech. I think that was a, a wash. So I'm afraid I'm going to lose some subscribers if I don't show any tech tech. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think <sighs> there's not much. You can, can you skateboard? We could. Uh, we could no, I'm, I'm absolutely. Dude, here's the thing. <laughs> here's the problem. Uh, yeah. We we are PC bound beings. If we okay. shatter our fucking hands doing something stupid with a board, that we're fucked. Yeah. We, need our, we need our hands. I can't I'm, do that. Okay, we'll hire a guy to skateboard, and we'll superimpose your fingers on the skateboard, like in in post. So you're telling me that we're, we're gonna, gonna hire a guy to, like... to skateboard with a real fully sized skateboard, and then yeah. we're gonna he's gonna be sort of a green screen man. He's gonna be wearing like a green yeah. screen suit, blue, and we're yeah, going blue, to green, we're gonna blue. sort of erase him from the picture and superimpose my hand yeah. as his body, sort of like a giant thumb guy from uh, Spy Kids again. <laughs> we're back to Spy Kids, <laughs> yeah, we're back and I'm I'm going to pretend to do it with a fully life sized board. Yeah. So you're telling you want to deep fake the tech deck stream. <laughs> it's not a deep fake. <laughs> it, it would be a deep fake if we changed the green screen man to just a thumb thumb. So we don't even need your hands. It would just be a thumb thumb skateboard. You, you want to mislead the audiences by deep faking the, the tech deck stream is what is what I heard. We we totally could do that. It's doable. It'd be great. I mean, I feel like it's more doable just to deep fake my hand onto someone else's hand using an actual tech deck. But can can we do? Do we have the technology? Isn't for that? it we the same technology? Uh, I don't know if we can do hand to hand. All right, we got any deep like fake that. tech uh, tech geniuses <laughs> out here? How easy is it to deep fake a hand? I don't want imagine going into a deep like a pro for deep fakes and just being like, I don't give a fuck about any of this face technology. Can you deep fake a hand? I only want the hand. Just need the hand replaced. We don't have that kind of technology. We can only do people to hands. I can't I don't know what to tell you. I can only look, alright, the technology can go the other way around. We can do hands to people, but we can't do people to hands. It's simply not possible yet. What we can do is switch out your hand for your full body. Make you kind of a big guy on a small tech deck. That'd be interesting. Ooh, okay, yeah. Like small guy stunts, that would be a nightmare. Actually, that'd be Instead like really of a cursed. Green suit, you would just need a green glove. Yeah, I need a green glove. So then we swap. We sort of downscale me, so yeah. it looks like I'm a small guy. Sort of like a <laughs> yeah. like a miniature <laughs> man. Small guy, right? Yeah, yeah I'm a small <laughs> yeah. guy. I'm like Ant Man, kinda. Yeah. And then everyone will be like, dude, Tomato was so into Tech Deck in 2021, he literally downscaled himself. <laughs> In but order to people, skate around on the finger skateboard. People with Matt Damon, but it's just so he could use a tech deck <laughs> of a real skateboard. Dude, this is this is possible. I think this might be the future of the I got a month to pull together a tech deck stream oh, using right. And you know what? Here's the worst part. Now that I said that, people are thinking I'm actually gonna do the tech deck stream in chat. I actually gotta put out an apology year. here, okay? Oh, I don't think I'm going to be doing the tech deck stream. I know a lot of people were excited for the tech deck stream, uh, but we didn't get enough money on the GoFundMe for it, unfortunately. And um, my cat destroyed my... Actually, I didn't have two tech deck boards. I only had the How one. much do you think it would cost for us to do this? Like, if someone gave enough money? Well, the trick is, Dave, uh, if you want to do this, what we do is we make a GoFundMe, and we simply say... A bunch of buzzwords and then say we believe it'll cost us around a hundred thousand dollars and then we take all that money and then we kind of don't show <laughs> yeah. where the money goes and no. we produce something yeah we make some, we make we something tech decks and do the poorly <laughs> <laughs> and we just kind of hang on to the money and we can reallocate that into the mighty bean stream next year yeah oh dude the mighty bean stream we're ready for that one. Tr chat next year, Mighty Bean. Next year is going to be the Mighty the Bean. Nah, dude. <laughs> yeah. I, nah, dude. 2022 is going to be the year of uh, competitive Beyblading. 
Do, uh, that's the year I fly out to. <laughs> that's the year I fly out to the East Coast. You want to fucking do a competitive Beyblade IRL stream? Yeah. <laughs> you know it would be so fucking lame, though, right? Like it would not be. It's like in our heads, it's like, oh my god, it's got badass. But it's like the <laughs> lamest fucking thing ever in real life. <laughs> we. <laughs> we would have to act we would have to act like it is the biggest psycho shit ever like the coolest thing we've ever seen what if we we still get the hundred thousand right we just book an arena somewhere <laughs> <laughs> book it it's just you and i <laughs> It costs to book an entire fucking arena off season, either. Oh but yeah. I'm, I'm not <laughs> sure we'd make our money back. We should have like a whole crew, and it just says filming MTC. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, look. The thing is, the magic of streaming is that unless we're using those seats for people, we can. I. I, I we can kind of just grab stock footage of the empty seats at a later oh, date. We don't even need to pay crew for this part. Oh my god. Oh, then we, should, we should have like the lights on, like spinning around. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh god. I mean, I swear, dude, the sky's the fucking limit if we can get into like the same fucking location in real life together. I mean, really, the amount of things we oh, could yeah. do if we just had the fucking opportunity. <laughs> Yeah, oh, it'd be so good. It's just, man, uh, Beyblades, they're a whole, they're an untapped market. Uh, back when I was a kid, I used to have one of those metal-edged ones, dude. I could have killed someone with those oh things. It's God, not a joke. No, those were illegal. They were illegal, but I had yeah, one. I don't know how I got it. I also had Obelisk the Tormentor, and I'm pretty sure that was an illegal oh, copy, what? too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> pretty sure that I mean, one had some text in it that wasn't God, real. God. Oh my god. Oh, oh I see. There was yeah. a lot of people producing illegal Egyptian god cards. We had a lot that came in from Spain. So people were like, oh, these are some Spanish cards, and they were all faked. Yeah, where who was the dude? Here's the thing though, that always boggled my mind. Who the fuck supplying these? The fake ones? Yeah. Wait a minute. Because yeah. like the cards, like the cards texture was accurate. Yeah. Maybe they weren't fake. Hold on a minute. Like, who the fuck is out here selling fake cards to children? Like, where I'm from, that just, there's, I, I can't think of a scenario where they would meet that child to sell the card. Because I think everyone bought them from shops. Like, so were the shops buying fake cards and then just selling them mixed in with real cards to make more money? Because that's messed up. If that's what they're doing. I don't know, dude. I don't know. That's like always sort of weirded me out. This sounds like it sounds like we do a documentary, like a Louis Thoreau style documentary. Yeah, we, we grab our old Exodia, the forbidden America. one that was like yeah. fucking bootlegged from somewhere. We just hunt down the person who made it. Take it to a scientist who carbon dates it and says <laughs> it came from here. And we go to the address and we're like asking questions. It's going to be a really underwhelming documentary that'll end about 10 <laughs> minutes once you arrive at the address. We're like, did you make this? Yeah. And they're like, yeah, I sold it for like two bucks. What's up? Like, oh. Oh. You know, this is illegal, right? And like, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're like calling the police? Are you guys cops? No. <laughs> no. no. I... <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> See you around. You know, you know, Dave, that kind of reminds me of NFTs. Oh my god. It's kind of like NFTs, a isn't it? Thing while I was gone. Yeah, they've uh... Have you noticed a lot of NFTs are monkey based or is it just me? Uh no. Actually, I haven't looked at any of the contents of NFTs since they started. I saw Sam told me something about one and it was like Oh yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Before you even say this, blasted. we got to talk about the fact that Sam is like a gigantic NFT fan. Like he actually he's like about to get thrown out of the house, like thrown well, out of I, like he I has almost he's just Sam's used all of his property on the next big thing. On he's NFTs. Like, oh, yeah, he's like always ready for like the next he was ready for crypto. Yep. They're, they're, they're getting evicted if they can't uh, get some money back on these NFTs. 
<laughs> Sam sent me this picture, and it was of this monkey smiling with its teeth. It was like, I just got this one hot off the press. This NFT is yeah. going to go crazy. And then I you sent him the same picture back because he sent me the picture uploaded to Discord. So I had oh, it. And no. then he said, I can't believe this. The the value just put, like plummeted. I just lost 60K. I was like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what's happening. Hey, someone keeps pasting pictures of my NFT and it's making the price go down. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but it's losing power when it's used in clip art. I don't know what's going on. Help me. What were you saying about monkey NFTs? There's a lot of them that are like really weird drawings of monkeys, like monkeys with sunglasses and stuff, or like tattoos and like gold teeth. And, and they're just like monkey themed nfts seem to be the easiest thing and it's like cash ape you know like go go big monkey like these are the nfts they popping off and there's like 700 go go monkeys you can collect i i i mean like dude here's the thing i bet your ass right now if i wanted to make an nft i just draw some bullshit like um monkey taking a, a big fart <laughs> like just a gigantic fart and like some yeah. like giving a thumbs up from behind him as he does yeah. it I bet I yeah. can sell it for at least two hundred dollars yeah and you could just like if you give it a name like flatulence ape that's yeah that's like seven million dollars worth of NFT flatulence anyway. ape sell it yeah uh and i bet i could make some money and you know what here's the thing dave that i've always said about nfts like the funny thing and the thing i stand yeah. by <clears throat> Anyone that buys an NFT deserves to lose that money, and whoever manages to sell a fucking worthless picture on the internet deserves to make that money in this scenario. And I don't feel bad for them. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't feel true. bad for the people who lose money in this way. They deserve it. That other person deserves to have their money at that point. Think of it this way. They don't want money if they're buying an NFT. They want a picture. Yeah, they want the picture. Yeah. That, to they them, get... it has value. <laughs> yeah, they, they don't want the money they spent on it because they give it away. Yeah, they gave what the money away. It's like a donation. Yeah, for the picture. It's, the picture. it's yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of deviant art artists who are making bank off of NFTs right now. Finally, after years of at, put posting at on last, that free. dude. At last, the art industry is booming as a result of many people <laughs> selling different angles of a picture of a monkey farting. Yeah. Finally, the Renaissance has been reborn. <laughs> the, the Leonardo day. da Vinci rolls in his grave over to his iPhone inside of his time. fucking coffin and he purchases another NFT and he smiles and he <laughs> says, it's finally back. The Renaissance is back. Do you think if you bought an NFT like of the like the thing in the Sistine Chapel? And then you lost it. You could replace it with the. Uh, well, dude, here's the name. thing. Here's the thing. Let me escalate a little bit. I run into the Sistine Chapel. I pull out my iPhone. Everyone's like, no, wait, no. I take a picture of it. <laughs> NFT. I take a picture of it and I put a filter on it and I say it's too late. And they ask, what are you doing? And I upload it to the NFT site. I sell it for $2 million. That is it's so free. It's free money. It's free money. I'm going to escalate again. I get my phone. I run over to uh, ex-president Barack Obama. I take a picture of him. Mm -hmm. ka -ching! I've now trapped his soul as an yep. NFT, similar to the seal of Oracalcos. Oh, yep, the seal I've of Oracalcos. I've made him an NFT. I put upload. I sell billions of dollars for Barack Obama NFT. Uh, I mean, I own him, dude. That's kind of that's kind of possible. I mean, here's the thing. Okay, I'm eventually. I hope to have a child, an offspring of some kind. I'm planning on taking a picture of him and selling him as an NFT because that's going to pay them through college. Easy peasy. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. No, the, the, the I'm gonna story. NFT my boy. <laughs> you remember that was uh there was a picture, like a meme picture, of like some disaster girl where she's smiling in front of a burning building. She sold her picture as an NFT for seventy five thousand pounds, and she doesn't. She didn't take the picture and she didn't own it, but it was just her in the picture. So she found it on the internet and was like, "Oh, that's me." Yeah, I'm, yeah. I mean, does anyone want to buy this for seventy five thousand? And they just gave it to her, dude. At this point, I'm just gonna. I, I feel like at this point, if you go to a site, you can just grab whatever you want and be like, "This is an NFT." Now, I just screenshot this using Kiazo. <laughs> this is a, my NFT of the chat scroll on my fucking oh. Twitch stream. 
troll face <laughs> nft would sell for like billions bro of dollars. yeah for That's sure for one. sure for sure oh my gosh velociraptor uh, that's another one. That's an, a classic. The Velociraptor thinking. Meant. Yeah. That yeah. I Philo think, dude. All right, meme review. All right, let's get <laughs> let's get down to business. Meme, meme review. reviewing. Okay. That meme sucks. Velociraptor. The Velociraptor thinking is such a bottom barrel meme. That one's so fucking bad. Now, hold on. What it if, sucks. No. What? If it's a bad one. Velociraptor thinking. It is called philociraptor because he's a philosophical raptor that makes it that makes the meme I, better. I it doesn't that make it any better you, I, I, you just showed me what it meant and i tell you what it didn't make it any better for me philociraptor it's so much better are you kidding dude i am look dude if that's the when you have grandchildren and you want to show them a fucking meme and that's the one you pull out from the vintage meme chest in your attic it i don't know about that one i think they're going to be disappointed in you what, what do you pull out? Uh, chungus. <laughs> Big Chungus. I'm going to pull out Chungus, maybe. <laughs> I'm surprised Disney haven't come up with it. I'm really surprised. I'm going to pull out so Chungus because like, of the funny name, dude. Timeless. Fuck yeah. <laughs> it's true. Chungus, that has staying power. It has immense staying power as a yep. meme. That one. That Troll one's... face. Troll face is like the meme. You yeah. know, when you think of memes, it's like the granddaddy of me. Oh, dude. Sussy. The oh, Am Among Us, Among Us. You like you, you like Among Us. I I never really liked it. I played a bit, but like I, I thought it was okay. I don't know how it got so so memeable. No, nah, I don't play anything that's popular or fun. Yeah, like the and you're in kind of same boat as me. Uh, we don't we sort of do the opposite. We're like the grumpy old men. <laughs> in the distance are. center like what are those people fucking doing are they enjoying themselves yeah. playing something they like everyone else with me and then everyone else that's apparently in the chat that also dislikes it stands with us in solidarity we all say i don't like that thing because it's popular yeah yeah that's that's accurate did you see the new thing though the new late the new thing they've started doing what's that? they put naruto into f uh fortnite yeah i mean if that was a and way to Meme I I saw it coming, dude. The funny the funny memes that were gonna come out of that, and it's the best thing that's come out of that game ever. <laughs> what is well Naruto running up to someone, doing a bunch of hand signs, doing like a cool stunt, and then gunning someone down with a machine. Gun. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> yeah, like it, it, it's Naruto panning to the left and seeing Sasuke do a bunch of crazy moves, and then blowing someone's brains out with a shotgun is pretty fucking hilarious. I'm not gonna that's lie. Good. It's like that's that shit good. is fucking funny. I don't care if you hate Fortnite or not. That shit fucking lands every time. Did you see there's a really good thing? Because if Naruto's in th with the hand sign animations, you can make anyone do that. So you could make like Ariana Grande. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so weaving it. So uh, Fortnite, it's so I've, I've never played Fortnite, but that's the only thing that even for a moment I was like, should I go in there just for like a minute? Take just a look around it, during just this? To, like, just do, do this it. once? <laughs> yeah. Because I feel like I'm missing out. By not doing it once. Yeah, yeah. But I Fortnite have really gone crazy with the way they market other things in their game and therefore market their game at the same time. It's impressive. Yeah, Fortnite, I mean like look dude, love him or hate him, they do they do a lot of stuff. Yeah. They, they I, do. I wouldn't be shocked if Chungus is in their <laughs> game, dude. Well, did you did I tell you about the Martin Luther King Day thing in Fortnite where they had the I Am A Dream speech playing in like a, a special lobby that you uh, go in. No. <laughs> that doesn't that doesn't seem like this doesn't seem like a great space for that. It's not it's, it's not exactly a great space for it, but like they they tried something new and, and we appreciate uh, that. Yeah, I mean, I appreciate the hustle. I don't know. It feels like there's just a it's a bad scene to kind of give anyone <laughs> yeah. space to play it, around in there. It's pretty much the one place where these people probably 
I don't I don't mean to say anything negative about gamers, but you know, they have certain words they say. Oh uh, yep. There's Martin a lot of Luther there's a King, gamer vocabulary out there. Dr. King probably wouldn't have been on Fortnite with these people. He would have been playing Maple Story yeah. or something else. Maple Story is pretty bad too, though. Not Maple Story 2, only the first one. Ah, right, right, right. Yeah, I see, yeah. I was thinking that they put Dr. Martin Luther King into the game, and I was like, now that's an extra oh, bad taste. That is. <laughs> I was for a second. I was like, how have I not heard of this? This feels like a, this feels like a dystopian alternate reality. I think the Martin Luther King estate, and maybe I don't know, black people everywhere would have something to say <laughs> if they just put him into Fortnite. Dude, imagine if like Epic was just like, what are you gonna do? Sue us? And they just start putting in like everyone into Fortnite. It doesn't matter who they are, what they did, they're just putting them all into Fortnite. It would be so weird to have kids on like April 4th, 2023 or something to be like, it's been like 104 years since Dr. King was you know, this happened in real life, guys. This is so we don't forget what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing this for any other reason. <laughs> Generations. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> I mean, but we joke about it. Eventually, someone's going to do it, and they're going to get away with it. It might not be in Fortnite, but eventually people won't care enough, and you're going to have Martin Luther King doing a floss as he destroys someone in some kind of multiplayer (laughs) game. No, no, no. And it's going to be an awful taste. Not Martin Luther King. You can't do that. Gandhi. (laughs) It'll be like Gandhi or something. I, you know what? Gandhi's in Civ, isn't he? Gandhi so, is in Civ, and, and can, I mean, like, like there's that whole meme too. about Gandhi loving to shoot nukes at people and being like the yeah. most aggressive psycho in the game. I always thought that was fucking hilarious, especially oh, since yeah. like Maxis would always be like, "We don't know how this keeps happening." <laughs> when we, I swear, guys, we took away his aggression <laughs> in the video game, and he's still so freaking mad. Oh. <laughs> uh. I haven't played Civ in a long fucking time, dude. I am no good and refuse to learn how to play Civ. See, I like 4X's. Fun. I like 4X's exclusively to make money. There was a game, like, I think it was called, like, Endless Legend or something. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. It had a faction that was just the open free market. And you could oh. just, as the faction, go, I ban you from the market and ban a player from the market. So they could no longer trade things to other players. Oh, so you kill them. You make them lose. (laughs) Yeah, so basically if you and I were playing this game together and you said something like, you stink to me, I would say, what was that? And you'd say it again. You'd say like, like, let's just do like a hypothetical back and forth here. Like you you go and you antagonize me. Okay. So I come in, I go, you stink. You're banned from the market for life. I'm done with you, Dave. I'm banning (laughs) you from the market. You try to go to the market now and it'll say you're not allowed to. So where do I buy, like, I don't, food? Water, you don't. Water? I have to make that you, you, myself? You, you don't. You don't do that anymore. I've taken away your economy so, forever. Do I even use money? Is it you, What do I do with money now? Do I eat it? Like, uh, you can do it, like, buy buildings, but, like, if you ever need any, like, specific stuff, like, if your colony wants to be happy for once in their life, I'm afraid you won't be able to buy anything off the market for that because I banned you from the market. I, 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 I send you a text. I send you a text over the market. Okay. Oh wait, yeah. you can't get that because you're banned. Oh. I send I send you I send you a courier letter over the streets. Okay. And it says I'm unbanning you from the market, the hypothetical market oh. in this hypothetical forex game. Thank thank you so much. And you open the market again and you realize that all of the tax rates are way hiked up. Uh it's like oh. the the commi- the cost to do anything is like fucking quintupled right now. And I say welcome back to the market. I set it up just for you, smile. <laughs> I said it. I made it special. I made it special. Uh, do you have any comments market. about that? I'm just you're, you're banned from the market it. again. Uh oh. Yeah, you, I, I. It was all. I, I'm not letting you back in here. This is my market. <laughs> this is my market that's, to trade. That's a special way of torture. That's yeah, I know. I did it to really people. Cool. That was like the one good thing about that game was that you could just grab the market and just be the capitalism monster. Oh my god. You, you'd just be like, if someone would call you an asshole and you'd be like, what was that? You're banned from the market. And then you just ban them from the market. Yeah. 
They couldn't do anything about it. We need more 4X games with fucked up bullshit. That one was a space one, though, right? No, nah, that, like... uh, that was like a fantasy one. There is a space oh, one. Oh, it was fantasy. Okay. I want more yeah. 4X games where someone can just do something totally fucked up to another player that's super gimmicky and ruins the entire game for them. I like those gimmicks, but I know that, that they're bad. Like, I don't know if it's game design or whatever, but it's like, it's not always really fun, but I like them. I like Dude. the wacky. I fucking remember the other thing you could do is that faction in that game. If someone tried to ki like kill you for banning them from the market, you could pick up your city and move it. What? So someone would be like, that's it. You're going to ban me from the market. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to fucking kill all of you. And then you'd just be like, nah, -uh. and you turn your city into a flying bug and fly away. What the heck? Yeah. You're, you win. You're yep. unkillable. Yeah. Classic, classic fucking classic, whatever game that was. Any more games like that, dude? Speaking of games, how do you feel about Viscera cleanup detail? I love Viscera. It's always a good I, time. I've been thinking about a little bit of mopping here and there. Yeah. I haven't thought of what map we should play. But I haven't either. I like, I like mopping. I God, I actually like, I think I'm getting back into video games after what happened, after what they did to me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If you look, we could get a mop in real life and that'll sell you. I don't know about getting back into <sighs> video games. That's a risk. That's a risk. Dude, mops are fucking useless in real life. What? No, they're not. They're mops so are tough. I, I have mopped things. Dude, I swear to God, I, I fucking hate mopping anything. I, I, maybe I've only used bad mops. You know what it is? Every mop I've seen on TV works. Uh, like at least 20 times better than any mop in real life. Yep. I keep getting given like bad mops that are old and not cleaned ever. Because oh, people yeah. assume that mops don't need to be cleaned. Yes. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. So I'm fucking mopping with this dirty already mop. And it just pushes the dirt around. And then someone will walk up to me like, what the f what are you doing? And they'll get like mad at me. Yeah. The amount of times I've gotten screamed at by someone, like ro roared at by an employee, was one time. It happened one time. But it sucked and it pissed me off. And, I, and that's why I decided to do YouTube and Twitch. And if they apologize, I'll quit my <laughs> streaming career immediately and go back. And I'll, hit, I'll pick up my mop and my bucket and I'll get back to work. But until that day comes. Yeah, I used to love mopping. And then they yelled at me one time. And I was like, well, I'll show you. I'm going to become a famous streamer. And then I did. But, like, if they ever apologize, if they ever contact me and they said, I'm so sorry about what I did. I, Deborah, I, from, Deborah from Human Resources, you're hearing this, right? Dude, how did Please. you know it was Deborah? What the fuck? She's a bitch. Anyways, uh, everyone knows. We all, we all know Deborah. <laughs> everyone, everyone knows her. <laughs> I've never met a person. I, I've never met a decent Deborah in my life. <laughs> I'm like I I, I I'm sorry to any Debras out there. I'm uh maybe you'll be the one one day. That'll be nice and be a tolerable. But I've never met a good one. Okay. Same with Tyler's. All right, Tyler. There's no uh -uh. Debra who's not like at least forty years old at this point. Yeah, no, they that's like a band word. That like they don't name people Debra anymore. Yeah. But there's Tyler's out there. There's a lot of them. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of Tylers, and so and far all I've met are, yeah. the only ones I've met are real stinkers, dude. Yeah. Tyler S One. His real name's not Tyler, guys. Yeah, it's not. Come on. It's not. It's not. Most, look, dude, if someone's using their real name and their brand, they're fucking lying. It's probably not a good name, whatever their real name is. Come on, guys. You're smarter than that. You're smarter than that. You should know better. <laughs> 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 no it look it's like look at dave dude <laughs> well you're you're like the one exception because you're you're my, actually cool my you know, family man. my parents did me so fucking dirty yeah <laughs> yeah, yes. yeah actually like i i i remember vividly my parents have explained it multiple times that the doctors tried to stop them <laughs> from naming me that and yeah. they just kept saying blah 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 blah. That's what you sound like. And then they they wrote it down. They wrote it down permanent sharpie that my yeah. name was Tomato. 
it was a sharpie. What's wrong with a normal pen? They That's wanted it to be. They sharpie. wanted it to be like the extra thick sharpie that like no one oh, would ever be able to yeah. like say like maybe they meant to write like Tommy. No, they meant to write tomato. My name's Tomato. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's that's my life. Uh, desperately trying to get this game to go into full screen. I don't know why it's oh. not doing it. I have to set in the options. There we go. What kind of, what kind of fucking, uh, what kind of, what kind of map? You feeling like Dave? I don't know. Do you want to do? There's a couple big ones, but I don't know if we want to do that. I, can... I've got like, look, dude, this game is a beautiful game, but uh, yeah, I uh, I only can play it for so long before I go crazy. <laughs> yes, yeah, I feel um, that the sentiment is there. Yeah. So I think like one that says two hours or so is the responsible count. You know what that I mean? Is, that is a good idea. Like uh. Like one that's like, oh, it takes about one to two, one and a half to two. I got one that's a bio, an experimental biochemical facility that says it'll take about an hour 30, which means we'll probably finish about an hour. Probably okay. two hours is more our speed. I don't yeah. want to do overgrowth because overgrowth is miserable and I hate that fucking map. Oh, God, yeah. Botanical. I, I don't like any with plants. I think the plant levels suck. The catechus, the one you saw? Yeah. Catechus. Okay. That one looks good. Uh, I don't want to do one drive. Like outside stuff. Yeah, outside levels are sort of rough. Yeah. Unearth, no evil science, no. CRG therapy, no. I don't want to do a legacy level either. Athena's wrath, waste disposal. Now, how do you feel about garbage? I uh, I like to peruse garbage every now and then. All right, all right. Wow, we actually, you know, I didn't check our performance when we did the Ice Moon level last time, Dave. You didn't check? We got 102% performance. What? How? We broke 100% performance. Oh my God. <clears throat> yep. Well, so, like, just... you know, <laughs> we kind of know what we're doing. Gaming. Yeah, maybe, maybe, we, maybe we can game better than we thought we could. But that level took about an hour, and it said it would take about an hour. So we probably don't want to do one that's longer than an hour yeah. and a half, just because I'd like to finish it. That's kind of that's kind of the point. We can yeah. do Athena's Wrath, Waste Disposal, Paintenance Tunnels, or uh, Cod Caduceus, which has a uh, deuce in the name, which is funny because that's like uh, poop. Is it really? Yeah. Is it deuce? Yeah, kind of. It's funny, like po like poopy. Okay. I could do poop. I could I could do poop. It's uh it's yes, yeah, an experimental biochemical facility. Uh, oh god. Poop it, poop is funny. So, you know, that might be a funny stream one. That could work. That, yeah, that let's do let's do the like, let's do the level that's uh poop. Yeah, sure. Poop makes the jokes seventy percent like easier to make, so I'm Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm like know. you know me, I message you all the time and I say I'm so tired of trying. <laughs> like this shit never gets any easier i'm so, I'm so fucking trying. done trying <laughs> people yeah. people are always expecting so fucking much and i'm i'm bored out of my mind of it i can't anymore i unironically uh while i was away was writing jokes uh for a stream that i could just slot in and oh, yeah? i had a page i was ready to use today and i remember i tore the page out and threw it somewhere and so i i lost all of my good jokes for stream and it was it oh was my awful. god you don't even remember yeah. them i i remembered one <laughs> and it it wasn't I, I couldn't deliver it without having my written down joke done it was it was sad it was this difficult. is why i don't put any effort into it into anything yeah anymore but I'll, they'll keep sending me the emails saying you weren't funny enough so i have to i have to change something <sighs> dude we gotta we just gotta get ourselves involved in a career that doesn't expect anything of us ever you know what i mean yeah that'd be nice what the heck does this game have post processing on oh my god my game's got fucking my game's got hang on oh there it is 
RTX on. RTX on. Now I can find Dave. Hey, hey, Dave. Okay. I've been thinking actually that we need to start looking more like gamers. And if you go into the options, you can turn up your F uh, FOV a little bit. Oh God! And oh, it's gonna FOV. make it a little bit easier to buff out those stains. Whoa. Yep. Yeah. Oh my. Yeah. Yep. Whoa. Yep. <laughs> The You're FOV is so right? wide that at a certain point <laughs> it despawns your character in my peripheral. It's so wide that if I look down slightly, I can see behind me. Oh my god, look down. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh, whoa. Dude, look up. You can see fucking so much. What the heck? Is it really far away or is is the ceiling that high? No, it's it's not that high. No, nah, I'm gonna do some magic. I'm gonna turn back off the FOV. Oh my god, yeah, look at how much it zooms you back in. There it is. That's that's oh, yeah. more like it. Okay, now I feel like I'm kind of squished in. I can't I I like I feel I'm gonna throw up. Like I I gotta I have to go back. What have I done? Oh, I have god. to go back, I can't live like this. <laughs> I can't live like this, dude. Okay. Well, we 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 need to get our bearings. Okay. Yeah, right, we should like take a look around. Yeah. The Oh god. I'm turning down the game volume a little bit. Yeah, we gotta like I think we take a look around and like see how big this map is. Yeah. We before we worry find, about like, like tracking you know, stuff around, you key, know. Key landmarks. We gotta like, figure uh, out what this place is like. It's buckets. a mess. It's it's filthy. There's no point there's no you're already mopping. I don't think there's much point in that. I think it's gonna I wanna see if I can make a clear route. No, nah, I've the... Dave, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've already tracked blood back the exact way you mopped. Oh. Uh, I don't even Why know. Did... I was... Oh, God. Dude, I'm just, just blood everywhere. <laughs> There's nowhere <laughs> yeah. to stand that isn't like... blood! Yeah, I love... my mop is gonna get, like, bloodied up anyway. I'm gonna just find the buckets. My okay. FOV's too low. I can't live like this. I put it at 90. I need to be at, like, 95 or, like, 97. Oh, I'm at 110. 100 is, like, my comfortable place. Oh, yeah, 100 actually seems okay on this game. Some game... games do FOV differently. Yeah. It's weird. Like, this one definitely does weird things with, like, high FOV. Come on, man. I'm not Come touching on. anything. I'm just I'm carrying this. It. Look, we're trying to we're trying to figure out what the map looks like before we fucking, like, do any cleaning. But I might as well carry the leg around so we can throw in the garbage when we get there. Okay. That's, yeah, that's true. Okay, so here's the buckets. Bucket. Uh, Check. Oh, boy. Here's the incinerator. That's incinerator. Cool. What was it? To you gotta pull out your hand. Oh, that's right. Yup. Oh, wow. There's a lot. Of, so the incinerates are in the trash. Uh-huh. The trash buckets are in this room. Uh, this guy was uh, cut up every single way possible. I got his, uh, his bum here. Right. Well. Hey, if uh, your body was horribly okay. eviscerated and destroyed in an accident of some kind and you died... But you were a ghost, ass, okay? Yeah, the only liked. thing they could recover was your ass. Yeah. Uh, and they said that, and the ass was in good enough condition. They were like, "It's gonna be pretty, bu it's gonna be a bummer." <laughs> but we can. Uh, it's <laughs> like we. You, you laughed. When you said yeah, that wasn't my, my intention to make the joke. Uh, would you be upset if they were like, "The ass is good enough that we could do an open coffin for the ass." <laughs> oh, I see. Like, it was a compliment, but Wait, would that bother you if they were like... Would it, would it have to be my bare ass, or could they put on my favorite pants? I, I don't uh, know about well, they'd have to cut up the pants to make it fit the ass, because there would be no yeah, legs. No, 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 they could, like, sew it up, like, you know, just tie the ends off the, of the pants. Yeah, you know, I guess. No, I'd say it'd have to be bare bottom. If it was bare bottom, I'd like to be. I'd like it to be mounted and, uh, <laughs> Like in sponge yeah, I'd like to be mounted over someone's <laughs> fireplace just because, you know, that's it's just I honestly I think my ass is good enough that I deserve that when I go. <laughs> yeah, like I'd be kind of like, freaking PO'd if someone didn't mount my ass over someone's like they, fireplace. It just, you know, no one's going to get to see that if I if I go. Yeah, if I go get my ass taxidermied. All right. Someone will want that. <laughs> Someone will pay for it. Someone, someone's gonna want my ass. All right, on a wall somewhere. I got, I've got band ass. All right. 
<laughs> band? Oh yes, <laughs> band. I remember. Band I've got band ass. Yeah. It's the thing you get when you uh, do marching band and stuff in high yeah. school, and when it's you, never gone away. It's a permanent fucking thing. Yeah. I need to, like close this. Do, does stuff ever go away? Uh, no. It needs to be destroyed. If oh, also, I give you permission if you want to make an NFT out of my ass if I die. Ooh, that's true. Like, yeah, do you want to make, like, I a think. sort of, like, pact right now that if the other person were to die of, like, unfortunate circumstances, the other person could NFT them? Yeah. All right, I'm that down. sounds like a good deal. Then NFT me, yeah. Like, we'll immortalize the other one for as long as NFTs continue to remain yeah, popular. more respectful that way to be sold for potentially, like, $2. <laughs> Dude, I mean, like, look, if I'm gone, I'm gone. You might as well monetize my death in any way you can. Get some profit out of there. I want to be useful to the world. I don't want to just sit there doing nothing. Yeah, you know, I mean, I might as well be... I might, I might as well be useful for someone. Useful to my good friend. Yeah. As an NFT, as a... A oh sort gosh. of grisly reminder of my death. <laughs> I mean, you know, at the time it may seem a little disrespectful, but with time. Yeah, with time, the children, like the offspring of my family, the future generations will look back and be grateful that my friend Dave in this scenario NFT'd my ass. Like, but Dave, that's the thing, is that I, I've already prepared myself in various ways to immortalize myself. Like, I, my, I have a chair back in my office that I don't use anymore that has a perfect imprint of my ass. You can <laughs> carbon date me off of that imprint. Like, you know, I'm immortalized forever. You could clone my butt off of that fucking leather seat. I'm worried we'll get Jurassic Parked. Is all with you, that. Yeah, but they'd only be able to Jurassic Park my butt. Oh, oh, you're right. But couldn't they, like... See, that's the thing. Remember when they spliced the DNA? So they could splice your butt DNA with, like, I don't know, someone else's, like... Who's got, like, a chin? Someone with you, a... You're wound. telling me that, like, they get some of your, like, hair DNA. Like, this mm -hmm. coincidental thing. They get your hair DNA, but they got my butt DNA from yeah. the chair. And they yep. splice them together, and... I mean, I don't think that makes a person. Hair, yeah. yeah. I think that would just make a hairy it. butt. Yeah, that's Person. It. That's what you get. That's what you that get. Sucks. <laughs> I don't want to go to that park. <laughs> that's why we gotta be careful. I feel like the only thing that comes out of stuff like this is like a, the the wrong kind of fusion you get in Dragon Ball Z. Oh my like god! Like the accidental go bad fusion where the person comes out all wrong. <laughs> yes. Yeah. With well, super skinny like Goku and the uh, Vegeta. Yeah, and like just disgusting one. monster person. Yeah. Like, yeah. just all wrong. You can't fight like this. That's not... I don't want that. <laughs> Mom! Dad! I want to go to Bug Park! <laughs> it's got all the Wonderful. greats of the past in their butt form. <laughs> There's El Elvis Presley. <laughs> He's here. I want to see his ass. But, Dave, the thing is, if you were a scientist and you said, I was able to bring back all these people and put them in a park, but only their butts, I wouldn't fucking recognize anyone off of their butts. Well, I don't know about that. There's some people who might be extremely recognizable from just their behinds. Uh, okay, list like three. Tom Brady. You think? Probably. Uh, I can only think of one. Who? I can think of one celebrity that I think I'd recognize the butt of now. Danny DeVito. Oh um, yeah. From the It's Always Sunny oh. episode. I think I could recognize his butt in a crowd. <laughs> yeah. Like, if it was just his bare ass, I think I, I've seen his ass enough in that show that I think oh, I, if, like, if it was in a crowd of, like, other butts walking around or whatever, I'd be able to recognize him and be like, that's fucking Danny's ass. Yeah. Like, I'm not... Why, Dave, did you fucking... Is this just a bunch of garbage that you've left in the middle of the hallway in this box? I didn't leave it on purpose. It's just not full, so I thought oh. there could be more. Oh, it got tipped over. There's nothing worse than seeing footprints when there's more footprints than there is like regular. Well, let's like... work. Look, you got the mop out. I'm still worrying about the garbage. Yeah, you're right. We gotta, we gotta, gotta do garbage before we mop. That's like the trash. cycle. And we also need someone like bringing these IDs over to the computer. Bag. Which computer? Is it the one all the way at the start? Because that's far away yeah, right I'll... now. Actually, it's the one right here. Oh, that's good. The one right here at the punch matic that has so much bloom I can't read it. 
See, I think all this is garbage. I think pretty much if it's on the ground right now, it's trash. Yeah. But yeah. I, uh... I think that's the only S I could recognize. Danny DeVito is pretty... Just any part of him is pretty recognizable, yeah. honestly. He, I, I would dare say he has an iconic form. Yeah, he does. He, he may does. he might be one of the most iconic humans. That's true. Yeah, I, th I think I think I think it is true. He he's unique in almost every way. Yep. What the heck the is this? Is this garbage? Sometimes I'm worried about putting that in the trash because it looks okay. That's <laughs> garbage now. <laughs> We yeah, got well, there. It's not, just, it's not just garbage anymore. It's also a mess, you know? Well, it's a, a little bit of mopping. It's not even you know a big I mean, deal. Like, this looks dangerous. It's radioactive. Just don't fucking... T it's, not, it's getting less green. No, it's not. Yeah, it no, is. No, it's not. It's, it's getting less green. green. The green, it's turning into like a fucking lime. It's neon right now. It's turning a little lime taking its time doing so, if that's the case. Is this a can of soda? Oh, uh, yeah. Hang on, you gotta, like, sniff that. it to know if it's actually trash or not, because some people like keeping those. It says... Oh, it says something. It says... Jingo... Jingo... Jingo Pop. It's a Jingo Pop. I think. I think something? it's not garbage. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Wait right here. I'm getting. I'm are you, are get... you going to go get a, a soda so you can do like a cracking open a cold one bit? No. Yes. Should I go get a soda too and do, do it as wanna, well? Do you want to also? Because I'm ready right now. I mean, I have to walk off to go get it. So how about you do it now and then I'll do okay. mine and we'll see which one's lands better. All right. I'll, I'll be right yeah. back. You do it and then I'm not going to hear yours, okay? We're only one away. Wait, why do you... Is this going to work? Oh no! <laughs> I shook it too much. <laughs> I shook it. Hey Dave, I shook it uh, a little bit too much. I'm back. <laughs> Hey, man. I don't own soda anymore, so I couldn't do the bit. It's canceled. I'm sorry. Oh, no. I'm sorry. No. Whatever you did, it was for nothing. Uh, oh, I, it's, I don't actually own soda. Oh, what okay. happened? No, it, it worked. It worked okay. That was, the sound was there a little bit, I think. Did it, like... I heard, like... I heard something when my headset was off, and then, like, a scream. Was that true? Yeah, well, I think it was just I was so excited to drink cola again. I'm going to have clips of whatever you did. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not sure why you're lying. I'm not lying. I'm you're, not lying. Y you're actually lying. I don't, I don't <laughs> Are you lying. covered in soda right now? Not all of me. <laughs> <Not> <laughs> My hands might be a little sticky. Um, but that, they were always sticky. I got sticky fingers. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> dude, I... The amount of times I've grabbed a soda from my fridge, I think it's why I don't own soda anymore, is I would grab soda from my fridge and be totally delirious that day and straight up immediately shake it and spray it all over my face like a fucking, like, brain-dead moron. I was worried it wouldn't be loud enough, so I shook it a little bit. And, uh, it turns out I shook it a little too much. And, and that's all. It was just a little misunderstanding. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. I'm sorry this happened to you. At least it's not bre you breaking fucking glass all over yourself like you usually do. But the, the difference with the glass was that was on purpose. I am I knew I was breaking glass. I was ready to break glass. Yeah, I, I mean, you, have, you know, you really haven't done any, like, th dangerous bits lately, dude. Like, what's up with you? I'm getting old. <laughs> I'm aging. <laughs> things are different. gonna be alive in a few years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I realized my mortality recently and that I can't just break glass over my head. I feel like I used to it in my early 20s. <laughs> Doing whatever. You're not even 25 yet, dude, are you? No, I'm not. You're not allowed to say you're getting old yet. 
What do you mean? You're I'm like hi, hi, hi. I'm 25. I got fucking emails from other 25 year olds saying, bro, you know, 25 <laughs> is the year when your cells stop regenerating as fast as they die. What? Yep. So you're, unless you're 25, shut the fuck up about getting old, my guy. Because I get people telling me that I'm going to start actually withering away. Hey, dude, who are these people and why are they doing this? They're <laughs> people that are also 25 and up that feel the need to share because everyone's already shared with them. I get it. I'll be doing it when you turn 25. Do you? <laughs> Come on, dude. When you turn 25 and it's your birthday, I'm going to fucking on your birthday tell you the same thing they told me, which is you're, you're dying faster now. What the heck? I'm gonna, t I'm gonna message already. you and I'm gonna say, better pick out an urn, bud. <laughs> better pick out something now. Like, you don't want it, you don't want it to sneak up on you, all right? Your mortality. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want the realization that- Someone sent me a link to coffins <laughs> on my 25th birthday two months ago. I didn't talk about it because I was like, this is too psycho to discuss. <laughs> Someone sent me like a website for morticians and was like, you better pick it out soon, bud. And I'm like, holy shit, this is insane. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> Just like, remember, dude, you gotta keep yeah, it in mind. It was, it was my 25th birthday, and my parents said they got me this special gift. They took me out to the cemetery where my grandfather is buried, and they said, we got you a plot right <laughs> next to us. <laughs> Uh, let's hope you make it, you know? It's pre-dug, it's ready for fast <laughs> disposal yeah. if necessary. It's got my name on it with uh, the year I was born. <laughs> and just a blank space on where I will die. <laughs> Pre-ordering... Uh, people do that, though! They pre-order, yeah, like, graves. That. Yeah, absolutely. But I, I mean... Golly. Imagine going into your shed and there's stuff you have a pre-ordered coffin and tombstone. It's like, yeah, it's like just, you know, I wanted to make sure I had a say in it. So I got one that was really funny. Oh, no. What have you done? Oh, Dave. <laughs> oh, I tried to save it. Oh my. You think what? eventually I could get a, like, chat makes a good point here. You think I can get a pre-order bonus on the graves? Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, yeah. Do you think I can get a special one? Yeah, it's cheaper when you pre-order, right? Dude, we're reaching the net actor saturation. We need to start fucking wiping up some of this mob. Um, yeah, because there's been a lot of... Dude, we're oh, like, God. we're we're God. reaching the threshold where the game is going to feel like we're breaking. <laughs> we need to get a bucket and start cleaning things. There's a bucket right here. There's a bucket here. <sighs> there's so much shit on the ground in this room. Oh my God. There's, there's the footprints, there's millions of <laughs> We need more buckets! I told you we should have used I'm gonna go get buckets! <laughs> You're making more! <laughs> I, what are you- I can't- this is- it's everywhere, Dave! What are you walking- Alright, I'm securing the bucket zone, I'm gonna start mopping up my area. Okay, okay. I'm at- I need to come into the bucket zone and get some buckets. I'm securing a lane to the buckets. It's been secured. Okay. I'm- I'm gonna- We got it. We've se we've secured the hallway. Okay. Oh my god. From, from- from bucket zone to here, we need to make sure it's clean. Now. God! God okay. fucking damn it! <laughs> I'll leave this- I'll leave this here. I'm gonna grab a bucket I can use. I'm gonna try no. to. What's up? It's a meat. It's a... Oh. What happened? A meat came out of the machine. Okay, just Got get it into the get it into the yeah. trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay. I wonder if we're supposed to burn biohazardous material. That that does sound like something. We're in a biohazard should... company, oh. though. God. <laughs> So what, there's gonna be a lot of biohazard everywhere? Is, is that Yeah, I mean, I think it's like they might like biohazard because they work in a, it's a biohazard company. I'm not sure what's wrong. I don't, I, I'm trying to drop buckets. I can't, I can't. Okay, I did it. I dropped one <laughs> that didn't spill. Oh my God, Dave, there's some mess up on the walls that I can't fucking reach because it's too high up. What, we need like a step ladder? We're gonna need a ladder. Oh my god. 
Where do we find one of those? I've never seen one. We can spawn them. Okay. We got a bucket ready for emptying. Get in there. We've si we've si we, we did it. We saved the game. Yeah, it would have been bad. Oh, I need to toss out this fucking thing. In well, the luckily burn. the furnace opens two ways, which is really nice. That's fine if it spills. In I don't think either. it did. Okay. I'm gonna clear some some buckets. Dude, you think that you think that like uh, when 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 you bite it, you think you're gonna have your you think you want like people to do something really elaborate with your with your like you know dead dead fibers. What what do you mean by like elaborate like? Like I, I don't know I've been I, I, I like I talked in the past about like when I'm done so. Turn me into ashes and like fucking flush me down a goddamn toilet or something like something oh memorable. I want people to remember. Yeah. I think. Well, you could do the diamond thing, right? There's people who, when they die, they get turned into diamonds. Well, that's fucking. That's a little too morbid. I don't know if I like that. What do you mean? Uh, dude, that's like they... that's up there. That's equivalent to being like when I die, uh, turn my flesh into leather and make me into a nice sofa. Oh, diamonds are much more, I don't know, discreet than a sofa. <laughs> now, here's the thing. I, I just ripped on it, but honestly, I'm turning myself into a chair? <laughs> Use my bones to make some nice silverware on top of it. Like, the world is... Like, I want to... I want every part of my being to be used other than my flesh eaten. I don't want to be eaten. But aside from that, mm -hmm. use me for tools and stuff. You know? Yeah, I think I I actually think I have powerful bones. I think, so oh, I've never broken a real a bone. Weapon. Make a weapon out of my bones. <laughs> <laughs> I want look, I want to be turned into one of the melee weapons from the forest, okay? <laughs> yes. Put yeah. my fucking decapitated head on a big femur, okay, and use me as a mace to take down wild animals. I think honestly that's the only way to increase my KD after I've died. Yeah, I, I mean, it's all about KD, dude. It always has been. <laughs> yeah. And if I can boost it by any means necessary, even... Even... Oh, no. You got me? Why does this keep happening? Oh, man. Oh, come on. I got one, too. Why does this keep happening? I think this machine is the broken. Yeah, More something broken wrong with than other ones. Right, I'm gonna get working on the slime that you threw all over the wall here. Dude, I just love Ghostbusters and I was trying to make my own slimer, okay? Oh, did you did the new Ghostbusters out. came out? Uh, only it's five out. years after the last new Ghostbusters came out. Dude, you know that it's really, like, it must have done really well because they instantly wanted to make another new Ghostbusters. Well, no, they I'm also sure did that for the last new old Ghostbusters that came out in 2016. They were like, this one's going to do so well, we're already making another. That is a great idea, and I think they should do that more. Oh, yeah. Uh, they should just already decide that they're making more things that suck. Yeah, if you, yeah. well, look, dude, if something sucks, the best thing you can do to get people to watch it is say, we like this so much, we're already making five more, and lie. That's, it's insane. It's insane. But it's a solid PR strategy. I guess. This it was so good, we're making five more of them. And you say that at every press conference. It's a lie. <laughs> <clears throat> You're not making any more, probably. But you just lied. That's all. But yeah, have, have, did you see the new 2016 one? Cause no, God I no. God no. Who, yeah. I, I didn't watch any Ghostbusters after number two. And even number two was kind of meh. Yeah, I actually like the TV show a lot more than the movie. But that's because I was a kid. Dude, imagine if people didn't constantly remake movies that don't need to be remade. What if they decided to be creative and made new like with uh, I don't like new things either. I think we should stop making movies. Yeah, I, that's true. We should just keep watching Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull. Yeah, we've already done all the movies. <laughs> we've done every movie. We've done all the movies. Uh the concept of art pisses me off. Well, yeah. Art is for hippies. Yeah, it's for hippies stuff. and losers. I yeah. don't need that. I participate in art that matters. That's why NFTs yeah, NFT. exist. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm glad we're on the same page. 
What the fu- I'm such a fuck up. What the hell just happened to me? Oh, did you, uh, did you see that, Manda? We, like, actually managed to summon Manda. <laughs> yeah, our friend who is an incredibly talented artist. Dude, I, you know, I'm actually glad, though. I played this game called Unpacking the other day. Yeah. Oh, man, if Manda had seen that stream, she would never talk to me again. <laughs> I, 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 I did artists real dirty in that one. Because, <laughs> like, that game did, it, did artists dirty, dude. <laughs> that game was like, that game, this fucking character in this unpacking game that's all about unpacking stuff and moving into new buildings had an art degree and literally every time they had their degree, they were like, it would like, the game would tell you at the very end where it needs to go and it would never be in a good spot. I'd be like, okay, where do you put the uh, degree now? On the wall? No. Uh, okay. Uh, it, on this wall? No. In, in the toilet? In the toilet? And the game would be like, yeah. In the what toilet. The and it kept making me put the fucking... One time it had me shove the fucking uh, degree into the chimney. That's messed up. Yeah, to like get rid of it. And I was like, dude, that's pretty fucking messed up. It's standard practice. No matter what, if you have a degree, it goes on the shelf. And it's like a prominent shelf in the office where you work. Well, yeah, I mean, it's like, here's the thing. If I got a degree, the first thing I would do is put it, like, somewhere where no one could ever get it, because what if someone stole the degree, whited out my name, and put their name on it? Then I would never be able to prove it's yeah. my degree again. No yeah. And they no would have the credits. Spending money. Yeah, Yeah, like, I do- I have multiple degrees. Yeah. Because I've walked into doctor's offices, and every single time I do, I pick up their degree, and I take it, and I cross out their <laughs> name, and they put mine, and they say, well, that's the law. It says go, he's the doctor. I can't be the doctor anymore. He I'm a doctor? doctor? I'm also, you know, a theoretical physicist. Well, that's my plan. Uh, is eventually I'm gonna go to Benji's house and I'm gonna take his degree from him. God, that's, that's my plan. Up. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's messed up, but it is what's going to happen. Yeah, it's just so easy to lose a physics degree that quickly. Yep. I actually, for my degree, because uh, it's a joint degree, I tore I tore it down the middle. I got half of physics and half of computer science, and that is that's my whole thing. That's how you actually get a joint honors degree. Is you tear test someone else's in half and you just mix and match yeah i mean like really it's so easy like you don't need to go to college or university for this stuff you really don't no yeah you just gotta like even playing video games uh teaches you how to get a degree if you play like stealth games yep i have a degree in stealth yeah for sure yeah yeah i'm definitely i like i said sticky fingers like it, it comes back to that. dr mario <laughs> i don't think mario has a degree no, he does. No, he dude, the Mario amount of pills he's health. making people take, I don't think that's a degree. I think that's a psycho. He's actually breeding an antibiotic-resistant bacteria. That's the premise <laughs> of Dr. Mario. <laughs> he's actually participating in bioterrorism. Uh, <laughs> there's actually a dark backstory to that game where he's creating a unkillable virus to unleash upon the world. That sounds so Mario. Because, dude, added. here's the thing. Here's the thing. The the Mario, Nintendo benefits from a worldwide pandemic that keeps everyone inside. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, they absolutely. They do. absolutely do because look what happened with fucking Animal Crossing. All I'm saying is that Nintendo Mario. Uh, there's a lot of hints that maybe Nintendo might have been sitting on something. You know? <laughs> we can't do this. <laughs> we can't say this. <laughs> Undo! Undo! Brett, edit all pretty, of the side of the body and fire! Pretty credible slander. <laughs> <laughs> edit it all out of the body, get rid of all of it! I just heard that Shigeru Miyamoto was working in a lab in Wu. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk to you about Big Mario, brother. <laughs> he was. They say he was developing some new game for the world. <laughs> they're all. They'll all see. <laughs> <laughs> ah yes, my career is over. <laughs> it's over. I'm done. Uh, you get away scot free, Dave. I mean, between what would would happen if Japan, Nintendo, or even China heard what said both of us are uh yeah done, mario is not gonna be fucking happy <laughs> with what just happened yeah there's gonna be a knock on your door and it's gonna be 
<laughs> Hello? It's a me. And oh you, no. And that's the, that's the last thing you'll ever hear. <laughs> oh my god, there's way too much crap on the ground, dude. I swear. Why did we play there's this game? There's a lot of shell casings. I, it's I, just a nice, just a nice chat game. It's a, it's a good chat know. game. I can't, I can't deny this. that. Oh man. We made good progress though. We, this, yeah, this we cleared out that room. Actually, we didn't really nice. clear it out. We need a spawner so we can spawn like the thing that shoots, uh, that gets rid of, um, bullet holes. Still. Yes. Oh yeah. There's still quite a few of those. And there's probably still garbage in there. I'll use a sniffer. Yeah. Oh, there's definitely trash in here. All right, I filled this thing up with... What the hell, can you get rid of your slime bucket? It's like sitting Sorry. in the middle of the ding-dang. Be careful, it's full of slime. I know. I almost kicked it over. I get off work at 11. You'll still be live, right? Sure. <laughs> Count on it, my guy. I love, I love that it's like, okay, we have no bearing of what time zone you're in or like what 11 means for us, but sure, dude, like, dude, yeah. Dude, look, it's what? like when someone's like, bro, are you going to be playing Elden Ring when it comes out, dude? Dave, what Sorry. the fuck? You saw it. It flew on its own. That wasn't my fault. He okay, threw it. On. I saw your character huck it. Regardless, he... they'll be like, bro, bro, are you going to play a, you going to play fucking Halo 12? It's like it's like five iterations of the game away from that. Yeah. And they're asking me now. Oh, look at what you did on the ground. Oh my gosh. No. Look at the mess you made. I can clean. I can fix this. I can fix this. I'm gonna I'm carry all this stuff smart. over. I mean, it's just like people saying they were excited for like James Cameron's Avatar 16 or whatever when it comes. Yeah, now that, that one's psycho, dude. I'm telling you, that Avatar shit's like one big scam. I have I, no I idea was, what the hell's going on with they that. Making a sequel that I was surprised when I heard. Yeah, filming has been going great. And we're almost. Who ready to the fuck is still trailer. giving James Cameron money? Like for, for Avatar. Like, like who the fuck? Which big things. suit in like cinema is taking a big drag of their cigar and going, "We'll give you another ten billion dollars." Like <laughs> for to James Cameron, who's been working on like five movies for the last like twenty years. You know what I think? Here's my theory. It's furries. That's what. That's what. Really <laughs> <is going on. laughs> <laughs> oh, do go on. I, I I don't know where you're going, but you can. I'm gonna give you some space to uh, play around and get where you need to go. Come on. I think I think we've already reached our destination. I don't think we need to continue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it. Uh, I think it's the furries. Yeah. Where the fuck did this? There's like garbage all over the ground over here. How'd this happen? Oh. I don't want to step in that. Oh no, it's too late. Oh my god, oh. why why do I keep struggling to pull out my hands? There we go. His stuff makes big money, so they will keep shoveling it at him. He hasn't made stuff! He hasn't made anything. He's not making anything! <laughs> Like, like, this is thing. like throwing it's money into a big fire! It's like throwing no. money into this incinerator at this point! I don't know how much they think it's going to make as Avatar It too. is no way it's going to be worth the weight that it's taken. I don't even remember that fucking movie. It wasn't even that good! It wasn't. It was a really a letdown, but it made so much money for some... Don't know why. And then, well... The second one's on the way, but I think it's and third and fourth and fifth thing. Yeah, it's like it's like a saga. It's a saga. Avatar. Dude, if the second one sucks, it's over. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. They Why would you make five movies at a time? That's in that's insane. It's insane. But it, like, it's better a movie than like. A TV show that sucks because that they make like a whole season and they start airing it and it just all sucks and they're, they're like losing money actively like more money by airing it than just not they can't stop airing it it's so sad 
I've got something. I'm smelling dirt over here and I can't find it. In the zone we were cleaning up first? Yep. Okay, I'm, I'll head back. I think it's on the it wall, on but the I don't ceiling. see it. I don't see it on the wall. There's a lot of green wall dirt that is hard to see. Because if I remember correctly, blue is... Uh, blue sniff mode is dirt. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. And it's not the bullets. Yeah. I think it's the hmm. When at Tomato, when's your Navi VTuber de debut? Dave, when are you launching your VTuber? Me? Yeah. I thought the question was for you. I yeah, know. I know, I know. I'm not answering it. I'm sending it over to you instead. <laughs> My VTuber? Dave, when are you launching that VTuber you keep telling me about, all about, that you keep, that you're, like, super excited it's, about? It's, 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 now this has nothing to do with my VTuber, but it's when they have good, good enough, uh, cock tracking technology, then I'll be able to... Alright! Really nah, no, fuck yeah, dude, that's what I'm talking about! <laughs> Live on the razor's edge! <laughs> Make a VTuber that has to be tracked using something flaccid like your penis! No, it's just when the technology is that good enough, that's when it's worth Hey guys, time. I'm launching my VTuber! <laughs> it's an elephant! <laughs> <laughs> I'm launching my elephant VTuber! It's, it's an elephant with a really large trunk! Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, here's the thing with VTuber technology, dude. It's got an active webcam, and, like, there's, like... Things that have happened where like the webcams cut out and it switches back to the real feed of the person there no, and like you're no, living no. on the razor's edge no, at that point no, where at any so moment true. your VTuber platform could be destroyed because it just smash cuts to your cock on the webcam. That's not true. That doesn't I've never seen that happen. I've it happened back in the day. Like, but no, oh. I think I don't think it happens anymore because there's like different technology, but I remember like <laughs> like, like, it's happened before where it's been, like, uh, the person that's a dog, the dog VTuber. Like, back before it was really VTubing, and, like, they'd be doing something, they would switch to just, like, their camera, and they're just, like, a person again. I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, this is the most, this right. is the craziest fucking thing that this can just happen. Yeah, that, I don't like that. Wait a minute, I don't know if that's garbage or not yet. It's not, I mean. I know it's biohazardous material, but I gotta check the sniffer. Okay. Bud, that ain't dar that ain't garbage, bud. This, none of this? Nope. Okay. There's something Sorry. behind it that's garbage. Wait a minute. Wait. You wanna know what's garbage in this thing? This fucking what? paint can, I think, in the back. Hang on. Behind no. it all? No, it's not any of this. None of this is garbage. Wait. Yeah, no, that's none of that's garbage. Yeah, we're good. But yeah, no, if I do a VTuber, it's gonna be an elephant. <laughs> or like, I don't know, an anteater or something. Yeah, or like, uh... No reason why, One of those, no. like, long snout piggy guys from Ice Age that's gonna be one of them. Yeah, something... It's got it's got to have a like a Watto esque kind of face design for <laughs> yeah. no reason yeah. why though. I just think that's the animal that speaks to me the most, you know. <laughs> strong. <laughs> yeah, something strong. Endangered. <laughs> Endangered. <laughs> oh God. Okay. We'll need something for the ceiling, but we're all right for now. Yeah, I kind of want to brave the uh, the wilds of this map to try to get the repairing thing. I think it's time to branch out. Oh, this is actually, it's right here. No, I don't need a lantern. Pizza slicer, no. Wet floor sign, solar flare, first aid supplies. None of these are the repair tool. Is there a step ladder in that list? No, but there is a a fucking letter for Planetary Liberation Corps that isn't useful. Uh, vending again. I'm trying to repair the first aid kits on it. I got another one. Okay. Okay. Not what I need. I'm now let's spend another. There it is. I'm gonna repair the first aid cabinets. Oh! Yeah, that'll be good. 
Jesus Christ! Eh. Bada bing. Okay. When is the Elephant Shrew VTuber coming out? Elephant Shrew is my favorite animal. <laughs> and it would work with uh, the penis capturing technology for sure, for sure. But uh, I don't think the tech. I honestly don't think the technology is there just yet. I don't know about you. I'm Dave. only using the technology as a benchmark. Like it's not exactly what I'm gonna do. It's just like yeah, when it, the technology is good enough, that's when it's yeah. time to you know. Climb uh, there's no game. rush. There's no time rush to, to get into the market anymore. The yeah. market's already there. Yeah. And frankly, I don't think the market's ready for me. Yeah, it's just like you know. There's going to be a huge boom, and I just need to yep. make sure the market can handle... I need to make sure the market can handle, handle all the, that that's gonna happen. The, the technology. Yeah. You know, someone's going to listen. You know, Dave, we did predict... So, someone's going to do this, what, what we described. What, cock? To the cock, cock, cock to motion cap for VTuber. 100%. It may already be happening. They're definitely trying, at least. Yeah, I mean, like, you gotta give them credit. They're doing something new with the platform. It's just, <laughs> the VTubing market's become so derivative lately. It, well, so, someone posted a thing today of a Wallace and Gromit VTuber model. That sounds but, like, illegal. It, it definitely is, because it's not their IP. That belongs to Ardman Animation, but I couldn't stop them. And I think that what's gonna happen is there's gonna be, like, a DMCA for VTuber models, where they're, like... NFTs and you have to buy them and sell them and trade them like that And you that's think? that's the next step. Yeah, I, I why wouldn't buy shock pictures? me Why buy pictures when you can buy a 3d model of something and then you're like, oh I'm the only one who can be this vtuber in the oasis <laughs> When I finally go to the oasis. This is uh, dude when the oasis happens vtubing will finally be over Like they'll have to cancel it right then there once everyone is a vtuber. No one will be yeah. It'll just be back to being tubers. Now, Dave, if you had to be a VTuber, like, you gotta right now. I, I've got, I pulled out a gun. All right, I point at you. Okay. It's loaded. You can tell. And yeah. I say, you gotta make a VTuber right now or it's over. All right? Right now? Yep. What would it be? Okay. It would be, um... No cock joke. All right? This is, like, for real, for real. Okay, yeah. Dude, I don't know. Maybe it would just be a normal guy. Like I, A normal I, guy? Yeah. So that doesn't that doesn't sound like it's gonna get you any kind of real uh, social media presence at all. Okay, then I would be a giant nose with eyes. <laughs> and there it is, be... ladies and gentlemen. That's that that's speak. that's more my speed, dude. <laughs> the nose would be speak by the nostrils moving, uh, like flaring up in and out, and that would be my VTuber. You know, that's actually you can dare say that may have been the first VTubers. Is like you know, it's sort of that same equivalent of like when people would do that, like oh, you put two googly eyes on your mouth, like uh, right on your jaw, like the yeah, your chin, and you flip over. Down. Like those yeah. were kind of the first VTubers. You're like, right, they were the first. VTubers. They were the first VTubers, and then Angry Orange saw that and was like, I mean, sorry, <laughs> the Annoying Orange saw that, and he was like, fuck yeah, dude, I'm gonna VTube now. Like honestly, a lot of these guys aren't giving respect Is to the annoying greats. Orange really a VTuber? That's a VTuber, baby. Oh my, since day one, we've yep. had VTubers right in front of us. Yeah, no one fucking respects the classics. And that's why VTubing will die. <laughs> because of a lack of respect. They don't respect the past, <laughs> and one day the past will strike back. Dude. Yeah. They've neglected to keep a, a tight rein on their, their roots yep. of the annoying orange and YouTube poops, and it's going to come back to bite them. Yep. Dude, you gotta you gotta learn from the past if you were to conquer it, and I feel like they haven't learned. Dude, I can't wait for the like monumental like you know just groundbreaking case of the n annoying orange versus VTubers, uh, <laughs> where he wins and gets the rights to every VTuber. Yeah, like that's the reason I can't get into VTubing. You know, I like I message you every day. I'm like, D dude, I might pick up VTubing. I gotta get into that market. You know, it's like a market yeah. that I I would thrive in. Yeah, you but love the them. Pro yeah. I love that market. But the problem is, I can't get into it, because if I was to, uh, people would immediately go, this is just the annoying tomato. Like, it's, you're yeah. just, you're actually just doing the same thing. Yeah. So I never stood a chance, you know?
It's, yeah, it's tough. It's kind it's of like, fucking tough being me. Like, that's why people should, you know, donate when they can to me. Because <laughs> it's they, hard enough. I'm locked out of an entire market. They, they don't know about the countless lawsuits from Little Apple that you have to keep defending. Yep. Just because he's also kind of red sometimes. Yep. And it it's, it's not fucking fair. It's like, it I, 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 dude, I'm missing out on such a gigantic booming market because I just Remember fundamentally lack. That yeah. show on Cartoon Network and they said, oh, this is a little close to something we already just acquired. Yeah, and that was heartbreaking because we were working on that for like six years before I knew you. Uh, six years. No. But... Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> I think I might just make a VTuber that's an exact copy of someone else's VTuber and see if they even bother <laughs> trying to take me to court for it. Yeah. Can they like? No, nah, they can't. Can they can't. What can they possibly do? I'll just say it's a joke, and there's, there's uh, once you said it's a joke, it's fundamentally impossible to act upon anything else. Well, they've been disarmed in a court of law. They, what are the, the judge is going to throw out the case? It's yep. a joke. Yeah, it's a joke. LOL. The judge doesn't want to do a joke case. I, what do you want this on your fucking like? What do you want this on your papers that you did a joke case, judge? How about you just throw this one out? Save us all some time. Judge, we all have better things to do. Okay. What the fuck is your problem today? I dropped the green slime and uh Yeah, I see the slime a disease. I'm not I think I just lost like six years of my life. Yeah, you breathe I saw really you long. breathe some of it in. I definitely inhaled like a, a big gulp of air. <laughs> Identity theft happens every day. Yeah, but is a it does that is I did does identity theft apply to VTuber models? Nah, what you said is basically identity theft happens every day. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> doesn't sound like my problem. It, it doesn't look like I've been stolen, so uh, who cares? Can you I'll worry that about one? it when it's my identity. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I love that. And then they came for the people, but I did not speak for one of the people. <laughs> it's and then really. They literally came for my identity. <laughs> <laughs> for that one, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Watch it. Sorry, dude. Sorry. I'm all just wound up. Thinking about, keep thinking about how my identity is gonna get stolen today <laughs> after the stream just because of just because of irony because irony exists in this world yeah sometimes i feel like there just must be someone waiting for us to say some sort of crime they can commit against us for, for a joke so we yep. can say hey guys remember when we talked about oh i don't know stealing a kidney well you won't be you won't believe this but yo dave I'm think fast <laughs> What Come the fuck is your problem? <laughs> what do you? What is my problem? You didn't even throw it at me. You I threw it, it down the low, down the fuck. I went long. That's what you were supposed to do. You're already what? down there. I said think fast, and you were there. Then you moved out of the way. You know, I was busy putting on my baseball glove. That's my bad. You're right. I should have. You gotta, you already. gotta try to keep up, man. That was fucking embarrassing. I'm sorry. I just want to be like Babe Ruth. I'm too focused on the batting and not the pitching. Other, the other part of baseball that I don't know. Oh, Dave, good news. Yeah? Good news. Think fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that one was on me. I should have gone a little bit further down the stairs. <laughs> that uh, is all right, dude. Whatever. Oh, gosh. We're making some good ground. Yeah, we still gotta find something to get rid of these bullet holes on the walls. Isn't it like a big heavy duty machine? Yeah, it's hard to miss it. It's like a big cannon, but uh. Oh my gosh. It's usually printed out at the vending machine. And I haven't seen it. I've seen the vending machine, but I haven't, I don't see the thing in it. 
if that makes There's sense. There's more stuff down this way, including the uh, elevator thingy that we can stand on. Yeah, there's Wait a lot a of garbage down here, too. <clears throat> a lot of people. Is that- Some of the doors open. I wonder if any of the ones we were at before will open. Uh, if I'm- I'm looking past some of these, and if they look completely spotless, they don't open, I don't think. Okay. Like, on the other side, past the window. Oh, yeah. There's one that opens here next to the buckets. Oh. oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh. Uh, what does that say there? Uh, hey, look, I found it. The thing? Oh my God, what? Jeez. I can start buffing out these stains. Okay. Golly, what is all this? Ah, yes, the good old days. All what right. Did say? Storm is coming. Looks like it's gonna rain tomorrow, Tomato. We should be ready with umbrellas on the way. No one owns umbrellas anymore, dude. Not no one. True. No one. All right, I'm not gonna fucking umbrella? let you do this. No, 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 no. You own a hat, like a poncho. No, umbrella. I own a poncho. And I own a goddamn hooded jacket. What are you? Are you kidding me with poncho? Who the fuck, dude? The Anything's better than a goddamn umbrella. You, no way, dude. You lose that thing the second you put it down. No, what? It's no. gone. Poof. No, dude. Uh, people like walk with umbrellas when it rains because it's like nice. And you always see the dude with the umbrella when it's windy. And like the umbrella instantly. That's a per that's a perfect example of why to not use an umbrella. Yeah, but people will still use them because it's funny. That's the only reason you're using it, huh? You just got fucking. You just you've just been had. You walked right into my trap. <laughs> what? That I only use it because it's funny? Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. Yeah, that's why. Why? And it's just because of that. That's the only reason you use the umbrella. No, I also use it for for romantic reasons. Like really? Oh, it's raining. Here, stand under my umbrella. Really? Really? Yeah. Really? Serious? Right Dave, Dave, time. Dave, 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 no bit zone. I'm, I'm pulling out my coupon for the no bit zone. Really? Okay, yeah. Yeah. Really? No, absolutely not. Yeah, that's no. what I thought. Okay, I'm turning back the check in here again. Uh, yeah, we're going to drop that that point entirely. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. But you can keep trying. <laughs> for the ba the my case for umbrellas? Yeah. I don't know, man. Uh, they just okay. What about parasols? What is what is those are worse? Some um, what the fuck does that even do for anyone? It's when you go to the beach and you stick it in the sand and you sit under it. Look, the only use I can see for umbrellas is genuinely to teach people. No, not even that. I to was gonna say it's a cool way to teach people that uh, not everything you see in cartoons is real. Because someone, at least at one point, some fucking stupid kid that's definitely dead, uh, definitely grabbed an umbrella and was like, I can fly! And, like, jumped off a two-story building and fucking fell and broke their bodies. Um, so, I, I, umbrellas, I think, only exist to confuse people about what's real in cartoons and not, you know? I'm gonna go backwards. I'm gonna say it's to convince kids that cartoons are real. Because there was a kid with an umbrella on a golf course, and he lifted it up in the air and got struck by lightning and died. Yes. Uh, so that is my case. I think that's more of, uh, showing you that the that nature is cruel and unpredictable. <laughs> yeah, but if he didn't have the umbrella, the, he wouldn't have acted as a lightning rod. So that's that's like you know that's a case for cartoons because that that happens all the time. That's a classic. I, I I guess I feel like at some point when you brought up that point you somehow flipped to my side where we're arguing against umbrellas <laughs> existing and it sort of confused me because you were like and that's why cartoons are cool and i'm like that's not even where we were <laughs> just like just, just mixing up the you points. mixed up the argument dude that's a psycho debate play at like a fucking high school debate thing is yeah. start debating something that has nothing to do with the predetermined debate things and just Watch it. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Hey, you get the bucket. Can you make it smooth? Oh my gosh. Ouch, my eyes. Can I not? I wonder if I can kill you with this thing. I don't think you can. It doesn't do damage. 
Oh my gosh. I don't like the particle effect of being shot in the face with that. It's like a, it's like obnoxious fireworks. You want to try it? I don't. You aim it at bullets and hold it on the wall for like four evidence. seconds. Okay. But don't do it What's too long, or it makes uh, damage that you have to clean with a mop. Okay. There's no bullets in here. Yeah, I kind of cleaned this room perfectly. You know how it is. <clears throat> Longer than that, bud. Okay. There you go. There we go. Nice. Alright. This thing's pretty good. Nice. Yeah, there you go. Uh, did I just start a fire? Yeah, hey. now you gotta clean all of that. Oh. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Yeah, it does okay. suck, doesn't it? <laughs> well... Like, I don't know. I was just trying to just doing my best, trying to clean stuff, and I got a little excited, a little overzealous maybe with the machine. Oh my god, I gotta pick up all this fucking meat. How do I even get some of this out of the goddamn straps? There it is. You got a trash can for that? Yeah, I got a trash can. I'm not I'm not an amateur, you know how much I've mopped and cleaned? Oh fuck. I'm sorry, yeah, I should have remembered. Oh fuck, whatever. What happened? Nothing, it all just fell out of the box. You know, Dave, I think we're making good time. Yeah, this one isn't as bad. I thought it'd be a lot bigger, but there are some parts we haven't even seen yet. So. Yeah, there's like this hallway here, which I might just get started on next. Yo, Dave! Okay. Yeah? Dig fast! Fuck! Hit the machine? Can you get that? There's no way I can ever catch one of these. They, they move, like, so fast. I mean, you're not even trying. I mean, I, I would have caught it if it was coming at me. I had, it like, was? No, 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 no. I knew it wasn't going to hit me, so my spidey sense didn't activate. That's that's actually what happened. Uh, dude, was Spidey... You think they only made spidey sense because Spider-Man needed a way to cheat? Yeah, absolutely. Because that's bullshit. Spiders don't... Real spiders have zero spidey sense. Like, if okay. I was apprehended by a fucking superhero, some asshole, that beats up poor people for a living, uh... Yeah. What the fuck? I'd be so freaking mad if Peter was like, I got you because I knew you were going to do crime because I, I sensed it. With my spidey sense. I'd be like, yeah, shut the right. fuck up! What? Peter, fuck <laughs> you! Uh, I think Peter Parker as a as a guy was only good in the movies because in the TV shows he was just a really like nerdy guy trying to do one liners all the time. Uh, especially the I don't know the one, but it was the one with the nail nail nail. I I don't I, I, I don't Man. know. I have no idea, but I'm not a Spider Man oh. show watcher. I'm a uh... it was the best one. It was the best Spider Man. There's been so many. And they're all... I have been quite a few. They're all so pointless to me. <laughs> they all mean nothing. They mean Cartoons completely nothing children. to me. Cartoons yeah. are for children. I watch sad dramas. Anime. Uh, yeah, drama. Oh, yeah, yeah, anime. I watch anime. Yeah, anime is for not children. Cartoons are for children. Dude, did you know that One Piece is actually going to have a 1,000th episode of its anime soon? That's really good for them. <laughs> no, 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 no. But you want to know the reason I'm bringing it up? Why? Because I saw something that reminded me of this truth Gmart posted about, and I, I, I and it made me laugh because when they reach a thousand episodes, people will now be completely justified in fucking explaining the exact reason why they will never look at it in a million years because it has a thousand fucking episodes. Oh, like, it's no longer oh, going to be a hyperbole. It's going to be yeah. actual fucking reality. And that is so fucking wild to me, dude. It actually made me, like, start to freak out because I'm like, dude, I remember watching that show on four kids when it was, like, yeah. 20 episodes long. I started to, like, panic. Oh my god. Oh, that's crazy. I was like, dude, how fucking old am I? <laughs> but that's just a, a literal, like, documented case of while while you were away, like, getting a job and, like, doing stuff, I was studying the blade. But it, instead of studying the blade, it was making episodes of One Piece. <laughs>
and now there's more of them than there are like oh oh there's a bucket oh. dave what the hell i didn't see the bucket because i was carrying a th oh my excuse Jesus. me whoa i'm stuck on excuse you me. i hate i, I don't want to move okay okay <laughs> I remember when One Piece was fun because the kid was made out of rubber. That was all we needed. Yeah, I, I, I used to just think, it's funny because he's made out of rubber. And now it's like, not just that. And that pisses me the frick off. I miss when I was a kid who didn't really quite understand that, like, TV shows could have a plot that was more than an episode long. Yeah, that blew like, my mind, dude. It was Dragon yeah. Ball Z that did that for me. It was when Frieza started saying, it'll take five minutes and the fucking planet's gonna blow up. And then that didn't happen. And I was really confused. <laughs> yeah. It's like, so what's gonna happen next episode? Like, this one sucked, kind of. Let's think of the next thing we're gonna do. Yeah, I kept thinking they'd be off of Namek, like, the next episode, and that never happened. I was like, it's and weird that they're that not, like, leaving. A couple of episodes, huh? Just a couple. Just a, just a few. Television sucks. All cinema sucks. I don't like entertainment. Did I ever tell you that? No, you haven't. Yeah, That's I'm... Strange. I... I <clears throat> all I do when I'm done streaming every day is I turn off all my monitors and I stare at a wall. I actually... I... I can't just stare at a wall. I put wet paint on it. Then that makes it a little bit more exciting. I'll, I'll put like, I'll collect like one or two ants and I'll put them on the wall and I'll see what they do. I like to play Russian roulette with my wool watching too. Sometimes I'll even touch it and it could be wet. It Ooh, could be, could be you might like ruin it. Wet. Yeah, that's, that's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. But no, yeah, as a streamer, you're not actually allowed to watch any other media that's not a stream. Well, it could taint your, it could taint you. Yeah. Streaming like, is a yeah. sacred art. And I mean, there's constantly regulators showing up and they're checking to see if you've been tainted by other media, because if you are, they have to dispatch you. Yeah. And they'll sometimes like say like references from shows and you have to- Yeah. Like, and they'll you know, see if you visibly react oh, to them. What's that? What's that mean? You what's know? that? Is, does that mean like, anything those, to you? The worst one I got, Guy came over to my door, just said Bazinga, and I had to hold it in and just, you know, yep. be cool. Be cool around me. Yeah, he, he, I've had that exact one. They show up and they say Bazinga. I, they find out that I love the Big Bang Theory. Like, you start, I like, fucking... <laughs> you start... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, there was something stuck in my throat. Yeah, you start sort of choking a little bit, and <laughs> you, you can't breathe. And that's what they fucking want. I've had so I had yeah. someone a couple years ago walk up to me and they said, "You know nothing, John." And then they looked at me and they expected me to finish the line. And I started fucking, I started frothing at the mouth. I started shaking. I passed unconscious. I woke yeah. up and I had I had my fucking license on my chest because <laughs> I, I, I held it in. I didn't reference anything other but than streamer I had culture. The same thing happened, but when I woke up, I was in my bed and they put the license on the pillow. But I actually didn't realize. I just screamed "snow" into the pillow uh, to finish the <laughs> reference because if I didn't, I would have lost my mind. Because you know, Game of Thrones is such a monument. Yeah, God, it's changed. It's changed everyone's lives. I think. Yeah, yeah. You think he's gonna finish that book one day? Oh, because like it is psycho for people to walk up and be like, "Yo, dude, you're gonna die soon if you don't get this thing done." But like, I'm done like to think it's not threat, getting done. Like, I'm gonna kill you, or you're just old and you might die. Like, George well, I mean, died. like, look, it is a psycho take to walk up to anyone that's old that produces entertainment and say to them, and I quote, "Dude, you might not finish this before you fucking bite it. What's up?" But like, <laughs> then he might not finish it before he fucking bites it. I've heard a lot of rumors as to why he takes so long writing and stuff. Like, he types with like one hand and presses one button at a time with one finger. Like he, That's a pretty you know, shitty you... rumor. <laughs> Dude, I figured out why he's so slow. He's bad at typing. It's nothing else. It's nothing deeper than that. He just doesn't know how to type. He's not that it's hard or it's complex. He's just slow. He's just hire an intern, dude. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> he just, he's just got this crazy fucking like he just is just bad at typing he just he's got really he's got bad carpal, fucking coordination that's why he's got two bad carpal tunnels and typing too many other books it's horrible he's not without his own battle scars you know he's oh, yeah. <laughs> dude i'm reaching like the really cursed point in this room where i'm starting to get a little overwhelmed by the amount of mess in here Oh no, what room are you in? The I'm one in the side room that we opened. Oh, I'm clearing out like the the last hole. 
uh, on the in from the first room. Like I'm a lot of trash. I'm done aside from this one corner that has a fully eviscerated human corpse in it, and I'm really just not. Oh. Not really. I'm not really sure about it. I want to do it. I, it. I want to do it clean. Are you picking up like shell casings and stuff? Because there's like there's thousands of those. I've been grabbing body. I've been grabbing all the intestine parts because those come out in little packs of twenty in this game. Yeah. Please don't fall out. All right, I got a nice. I got a nice hefty pack of garbage right now. As long as it makes it to the incineration. Oh, it did, baby. That's like a fucking perfect incineration. Oh my god, I deserve fucking claps for that one, dude. Dude. Want some claps? Yeah, I kind of deserve them. I don't know how fast I can clap, but I'll try. I'll give you the... Kind of doesn't even feel like authentic or genuine, you know? Like I was very, I was that. giving that maximum effort. My arms hurt because of that. Is it that like it's like kind of there's a there's an effort when it comes to clapping where it goes from being nice to being rude again. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, it's like this is like you're trying too hard. Stop. Like this is a genuine fuck yeah, dude. Then you got like <laughs> which is back to mean again. That's too slow. And you got yeah. where it's now obnoxious and you're being a fucking absolute piece of shit. You well, know what I mean? Slow clap is the rudest. Like putting zero that's just rude. Slow clap is bad. Yeah, no one no that. one likes a slow clap. Yeah. But you're right, there is like the pace of what like, it's honestly ind indistinct clapper is what I would call it, where it's like um when there's too many people clapping that you can't tell like a beat or a pace. It's just whoosh. Like oh yeah, it just becomes sort of like this going. storm of noise. Yeah, yeah. I've had that. that. You know, a lot That's of people that. clap for me. <laughs> in my life. So like, I've had that, I swear God, I've had that happen. I promise, I swear. I swear That's I've had, I've had people clap impressive. for me. Yeah. I... I usually tell people not to clap for me, like... Yeah, I mean, like, clap, what I do not. is, they'll clap at me, like that, and they'll become that storm, and I'll start screaming at them. I'll go, SHUT UP! SHUT THE FUCK UP! <laughs> And then they'll all stop clapping, like, in the storm, and I'll be like, Do it at this pace! Now! And I'll, like, get them to go at the right pace, because it pisses me the fuck off. Yeah. Like, I, 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 deserve, I deserve a certain amount of respect. When I was actually you a know? famous opera singer, and uh, for my shows, w when I would finish yep. singing, I would say, I like to hear the gaps in clapping. So everyone had to make sure that they clapped at the same time, uniformly, so I could hear the silence in between. Because yep. silence is gold and it's valuable, especially for an opera singer. Mm -hmm. So it's it's just rude, honestly, if they choose to go at their own pace and not not mine. And it's my show that yeah, they're, they're watching and stuff like that. So see, I would I would even go so far as to put out little warnings on the signs of like you know the big shows I do. You know all the huge shows I do. Oh yeah, and yeah, it would just say like you out. will be you will be examined for your work. And then if, like, I had a lot of problematic clappers, I would stop everyone and be like, I need you to clap for me right now. i point to one person. And I'd sort of do that whiplash kind of thing where if they fuck it up, I'm going to huck something at them from the stage. <laughs> yeah. And I'll be like, you're not, not keeping tempo. tempo with the rest of the group. Yeah, do not, it again. Not quite on tempo. <laughs> not quite on tempo. <laughs> not my tempo. And then I just make them, they'd start fucking crying and trying to clap at the right pace. I'd be like, that's just not it. And I'd have them take it away. <laughs> Like I, I I don't I don't play around, Dave. Like it's, you know, yeah. clapping is important. Yeah, it is. It is, and only the real deal, like people who understand, will actually you know do that because they don't want normal. Cla you want great claps. I want great claps. I because you know like at a, I've only look if I've only been to like one, uh, like if we're, like all let's get the jokes out of here. I've only been to like you know five or six or ten like big like convention hall uh, shows that have starred me tomato gaming. Like only okay. five to ten of them, and like every single time, like it's important to be the best clapper because it's like a competition between you and all the other people, you know. Yeah, I'll notice you if you are. That's the yeah. thing. Like I said, I if, if you if you have a show right next to me at the big thing, I, I go to like dozens of these things. Like I'm invited to tons of them every year. Yeah, and um, yeah, all the time. like yeah. if you have one next to me, which you do as well, because you're also invited to dozens and dozens of oh, like you know yeah. uh, panels yeah, and stuff. Like and like so, like yeah. it's a competition to see who gets the most claps. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, it's a t it's a very very you know 
it's kind of a bit conceited at yeah. times the way we do things with the claps but it is it's why we go essentially it's the only reason yeah and money but like, and money yeah. oh yeah it's because yeah. I, you you know like dave i can't i can't remember the last time that like we didn't end a stream and then you immediately followed up by saying <laughs> i can't believe they didn't give me enough money hey go long <laughs> I was in front of you. <laughs> I was standing in front of you. <laughs> Big mess. <laughs> it's already gone. <laughs> can you clap with one hand, though? No one can clap with one hand well. <clears throat> mm -mm. I mean, don't. It's gonna hurt your wrist. Yeah. Like, come on, guys. One hand? I mean, there's a thing where people are, like, uh, banning clapping. I think my university said something about it, and that people will do jazz hands instead. For the that, it, bud, if I went to a, if I got invited, like I, like I do, like we both do, when yeah, we get like, invited yeah. to, co like, community colleges, universities, famous, like, Harvard asks us to come out for, like, our speeches yeah. on the evolution of the VTubing industry, which we are yeah. so informed on. Yeah. Uh, they'll invite us out. If I get there and I get, I expect fucking clapping, and they start <laughs> jazz handing me, I'm gonna throw my chair at one of them. If you're trying to be inclusive to people who can't hear what I'm saying, and you're trying to include them in my show by not clapping for me, is but... that is that what it's for? Is it for like people that can't hear clapping? Yeah. But because can't they... they see the clapping and therefore they know that it's clapping? They can see jazz hands a little bit better. Come on, dude. That's you. Uh, uh? <laughs> but they're actually bad. I don't understand that. <laughs> I actually don't understand. No, the, like, I think it failed in the end, but it was genuinely that was the reason they gave. And it was like, that has to be a prank. That has to be like a someone did a big goof on these guys and they all bought it and thought it was real. I would get if it was like this person startled by loud noises. So we're going to do something that's less loud noises from now on. That may be. No, it was... But I feel like, like the visual of clapping is like a universal... You know what I mean? Like, you know what's going like, on. I know what's going on. If you're clapping, I'm gonna be like, that guy's fucking clapping at me. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. Dave, if you had yeah. someone walk up to you and just start clapping at you, would that freak you out? Uh, how, like... Walks up like to you, slow? he's wearing a... N not... Mmm. He's wearing a nice suit. Okay. Like this guy looks like he's dressed to impress out, uh, impress out there. Like it's a big show for him. He shows up, not All the right. super fast, but yeah, like the normal cool. clip. And he's like nodding and smiling. Like maybe a little bit of fuck me eyes in there. I'm not sure. Uh, okay. But he's smiling. <laughs> he seems okay. happy to see you out there. Like with whatever you're doing. Mm, mm. What do you do? You, and do you go up to him? No, no, no. I let him. Okay. I leave you, him alone. Where are you when this is happening? Uh, I'm on the street. I'm out on the street. You're on the street. Okay, so he he's he sees you like you. Let's say you like press like a signal, like the signal button across the street. He claps during that. Yeah. And yeah. uh, what do you do from there? From there, he, he, he's clapping I, when you press the signal button. And he's just staring I now at you. I disregard the signal. I try and cross the road and leave him behind. He follows. He fall. He, he follows. He's not clapping. He looks like he's actually sort of displeased. No. Oh, he's displeased. Yeah, he 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 looks like something in the show just happened, and he's not happy about it. Almost like he would oh. walk out, but he can't find the exit. He's like looking around, but he's still following you. Oh, Don! Now I try and win back his favor because I've cl he didn't like that I d jaywalked. Wait, wait, he wait, didn't wait. like that. I yeah, he, I don't think he. I don't think that clicked with him. Like, what do you do now? Uh, now I I go back to the, the button. I press it again. I see what he does. I'm waiting to see what his reaction is going to be. He starts to clap, but it's a little bit slower. Okay, okay. He's like sort of like, like, like he's like, like he's like looking around to see if anyone else going to join in. Obviously, no one does because he's the only uh, SCP here. But like, okay, uh, I start clapping for him. I start clapping for him. He and starts he, screaming I... and he attacks you. <laughs> okay. Um, I clap much. La I start like aggressively, like <laughs> clapping loud, like I'm trying to sound blast him. <laughs> Uh, like, like he, he continues to attack you? He's not, <laughs> he's not vulnerable to clapping. Unperturbed, okay. Uh, well, if he's not vulnerable to clapping, then I'm gonna have to figure out, I'm jazz handing. Dave, <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, you've died. 
Oh, you, no, you, while he was strangling you to death, you jazz handed and he died. I don't, I'm not really, like, you just misplayed this whole thing really, really poorly. I, I really thought I had him. I really thought I had him with that one. Oh, oh my god. god, what are you doing? I'm, I'm all over the shop today. Well, I've died. I just yeah, died. Yeah, I did die. I mean, I didn't why. give you much of a chance. Honestly, I was kind of railroading you on that one. <laughs> I I, see. I'm not like a pro DM, so my plan was that you wouldn't at any point clap back at him, and when you did, I got angry as a DM, and I decided to win the fight. Is what I did. <laughs> That's what you what saw. You know? saw the DM decide to win because you, you broke from my predetermined path I designed for you. If anything, let, let it be known, as on the record, I clap back. I clap back. Oh, that made me wince. <laughs> that made me that made me actually wince when you did that. Yuck. <laughs> Bud, yuck. That was that was just subpar. <laughs> that that was lame. <laughs> Look, you have to the way it goes with some jokes, you can't just bring out the big funnies. You have to have bad jokes thrown in there. Nah, but that's a bunch of bullshit. No way. I, I stand by that. I love it. You mean jokes. you like bring out bad jokes to make the good ones look better? No, I, I, I have jokes that I know are bad and that will bomb, and I just say them anyway because it's funny. Oh, like a psycho-sociopath kind of thing. Yeah, a little bit, a little. No, bit. I get that. Like it's the it's the anti humor. Yeah, a little bit like that. But those are in and of themselves comedy. I thought that you meant like <clears throat> you make some real stinkers to make the audience drop their guard before you let out <laughs> no. the good one. No, no, no. no. Oh yeah, like jokes. That <laughs> like just you won't kill them all with a joke, like a fucking super funny one. And then you follow it up with like two to three ones that keep the audience completely silent and they're like starting to stand up and leave the room because it's yeah, so like fucking bad. Oh my god, I can't believe that he told a good joke and the most of this is trash. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Gosh, that's that's a way to live. Yeah, I mean it's a pretty safe bet if you make a bunch of shitty jokes to say that it, you plan to make those shitty jokes to make everyone drop their guard. That's true. No one would bat an eye. They'd be like, that makes sense. That, it adds that up. I mean, I don't know what everyone. the fuck why the fuck you do it, but it adds up, I guess. Oh. The machine is jammed. How do I unjam this Good luck. Thing? If it's the fucking lift, good fucking luck, bud. That lift is miserable to get working. Okay. Oh, th this sucks, actually. What? I don't know if I can get a bucket on this thing. It's it's being real stinky. Well, what you do is you have me hand it up to you. Ah. But unfortunately, right now I'm on dirt hunting duty. Yeah. It shouldn't be too bad if I put a bucket on the side. I'm worried it'll fall over. It'll definitely fall over. I'm not gonna do that. Ah! Are you okay? are you alive? At yeah, least? I'm fine. Like, what happened? Nothing that concerns you. What, what what's concerning you? A uh, big lantern exploded and lit me on fire. Oh, oh no! Get rid of these fucking lanterns, all right? They're not good. Wait, which ones are the lanterns? The things we've been throwing around? Uh, no. They're like the big blue light oh, thing. Oh, Ooh! Tomato. <laughs> so hey, dude, watch it, all right? <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Why would I? You clean that the fuck up? Where's the bucket? <laughs> Here's a bucket. Thank you. Oh my god, what the fuck is your deal? Was, you, you hit it too hard. I hit relax, it. Relax, dude. You gotta relax. You're stressed out. I'm stressed, stressed out. Right now. I mean, you you flung me across a room. <laughs> that was literally you. Me? Yeah. I was walking with a bucket, minding my own damn business. How dare you? Trying to clean this place. How up. dare you? 
excuse me. Excuse See, yourself. That's what, that's what happens? You say excuse me, and then you get past, and you don't you don't kill people. I didn't you kill, kill you. You know I wouldn't do that on stream. <laughs> You're right. Because, right. you know, we got to play the game at a certain quality level that people will fucking leave, Dave. They'll leave. Oh, sorry. You're right. But they wouldn't. They shouldn't leave no, if they want to see the, the cool thing that we always do at the end. Yeah, they, they you can't that. leave before the cool thing. Me and Dave do this cool thing at the end of every stream, and then we cut that part of the VOD out. Yeah. So you can't see it in VODs, and, like, even Twitch sent times, because they know how cool. Yep. God damn it! <laughs> Stop putting your dirty buckets in the middle of the hall! I moved those were your dirty buckets and you know it. I didn't put any buckets out there. You've <laughs> been pulling this shit all day, Dave. You keep I'm putting things in the middle of the goddamn hall thinking I'm not gonna notice. To <laughs> I don't I didn't mop up any slime today. You've been on slime duty. Yeah, yeah, and I've mopped up tons of slime. What have you been doing? Yeah, I know. Why is there buckets? That's why I'm wondering why there's buckets of slime in my way. Sometimes I borrow your buckets, okay? Is it is it a crime? We're, we're a team. We share things sometimes. Is, is it wrong? No, Dave. You this is a PvP buckets? competition to see you can clean the most. I dare say I'm winning. <laughs> I dare say I'm a superior cleaner. Yeah, I don't buy that. Oh. We'll see. We'll see. Is this room done? God, it's hard to see this blood. I kind of needed that fucking lantern. Yeah, the, that place is difficult to see. Wait, what if we bring in this uh, laser? It's got a bright red light. <laughs> I, uh, I'm actually getting stressed out. Just you suggesting that. <laughs> it's a great suggestion, honestly. Yeah, I think it's good. Is it just this bucket? What the heck? Why does something set on fire? It's just That's random. Not... Ah. But it's uh, it can happen more depending on how much uh, you use it. It was yeah. just the bucket. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. That room is clean enough. God, you missed a couple spots. <laughs> it's like, is the office a co -work? Hey, you missed a spot. <laughs> See you around. Oh, uh, yes. Hey, go along. <laughs> oh, Why'd that light on fire? God. Why'd you do oh, that to my, my bucket? Oh, my God. <laughs> what the... How what did the you fuck? Make that happen? You did that! What are you- I wasn't even aiming there. I yeah, well, it was up. your fire! <laughs> yeah, but... and I don't know what you did to make it spread. What were you doing? <laughs> it's a bucket of water! I don't know what you did. I don't know how water spreads fire, but you gotta cut that out. <laughs> Look, dude, all I know is that all we got left, I think, is these decals on the walls. I've been doing really? a, a filth sweep. I feel like there's a little bit more than just that around, right? There's got to be something else. Uh, Although, I don't know how long we've been here. With my bearing of time, it doesn't feel like it's been that long. It's been about an hour been, and a half. <clears throat> we've been talking a little bit less. the whole time. Yeah. It's uh, been about an hour and a half. Okay. So where are these wool Ah, uh, there's a couple here. There's something in the middle of this. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. I need the stand. Okay. Dave. These are, these are somewhat delicate and I didn't realize. They just, just step aside. All right, quickly. I gotta take care of something on the ceiling. Someone got some slime right on the roof of this damn place. You know what happens with the slime, right? It's from people being slimed. So if somebody got slimed from the roof. Would you let yourself get slimed? Me. Never. No In way. like real I'm life, if, if Nickelodeon contacted you and they said, we will get, we will slime you right now if you want, would you? I probably would, yeah, I'd do it. No, I'm not saying they're gonna put you on camera. Oh, wait, why are they just This is me? just a normal, 
hobby sliming. <laughs> This is uh, sliming for fun. Not this is business. sliming for fun, not fucking profit. Okay. No, I don't think I'd do that. What the heck? I mean, this is a once in a lifetime experience. To be slimed? Nah. Yeah. Nah. Really? I don't. I mean, I guess it technically, it a lot of people would go through their life not ever being slimed, but I feel like in my life, for a guy like me. I'm gonna have a lot of opportunities to be slimed in my life, so I'm okay. I'll I mean, have life. you though? Hmm. Yeah, I've come close to being slimed. I have gotten but, slimed. I've gotten basically slimed. By what? Was it slime? Uh, it wasn't really slime, but it might as well have been slime. It's like this jello thing at Cow Shop. I got slimed. Oh, yeah. I've had a sliming. Sli that counts as slime. You've been slimed. I've been borderline slimed. They didn't yeah. give me a choice. They said it was that or they kicked me out, so I did get slimed. Oh. <laughs> they also made me bob for apples in Malort, so I've seen hell. You know what? It looks like you were more than just slimed uh, from the Yeah, I mean, the only reason... Yeah, it was bad. It was really bad. <laughs> oh, I remember James talking about Malort. That stuff is rank. It's nasty. It, uh... Yeah, I had to sip it. I had, I got it in my fucking eyes, bud. <laughs> oh, my Jesus. I got it in my they eyes. Like petrol. Uh, yeah. I got it in my eyes... It oh, was, um, wait. it was not good. I wouldn't recommend anyone ever drinks that stuff. But I feel like most people, if they want to drink it, aren't going to listen to me anyways. Yeah, they, they're they going to drink it if they want to. God, Chicago makes some real fucking poison, you know that? <laughs> Sorry, I, Chicago, the only but place holy I hell. Visited in America was Chicago, and I, I thought it was okay. But yeah, they well, do have some mad people at their Dunkin' Donuts, I'll say that much. They have Dunkin' Donuts out in Chicago? Yeah. I thought that was like Dunkin'? an exclusively East Coast thing. No. Don't they yeah. have them in like LA too? Am I going crazy? I could have sworn that Dunkin' was only sort of East Coast and maybe like a little bit on the West Coast. I didn't think it was very set, like it went very inland. I thought it was mostly on the coastal areas. I know. Have Duncan they have they expanded good. a bunch in the last like five ten years though? Because my knowledge of Duncan oh, is more okay. from like the last like from like ten years ago. You know what? I think they have. I know they did a big thing where they changed a lot of their marketing a while back. Oh, this place is clean. Whatever. I mean, look, dude. The thing is, I don't like Duncan. I think it's poison. You do so. Is I don't that really the coffee mind. or the donuts. Both. They're not good. I uh, well. Look, I it's like I, it's coffee. not controversial you know to say You're that right. while it's more expensive, uh, Starbucks is infinitely superior. <laughs> really? Oh yeah, I take Starbucks at least out here where I live. I take Starbucks any day of the week before Duncan. I I had this thing where I didn't like Starbucks because I I just didn't like understand or trust it. It was like everyone drinks it, but it's like why? Oh yeah, no, I mean I don't do like the fucking I don't do all the fancy shit, but like Starbucks is Starbucks coffee is burnt as hell. Chat, you guys gotta remember when it comes to fast food chains that a lot of the quality of the food and stuff, uh, and drinks sort of comes down to the employees that work there more so than the actual brand. And out where I live, that Starbucks is. is infinitely superior to Dunkin' Donuts in every single way. Uh, and I wouldn't be caught dead going into a Dunkin' Donuts around these parts if there's a Starbucks open. Uh, it would be, that would be blasphemous out here. They just do, they just do the stuff better for Starbucks out where I live. Where's that laser gun? I got some bullets that need some cleaning. Uh, why did I drop it? It might have been over here. There it is. Oh, there it is here. Yeah! How the hell? It's a load of bullshit and you know it, game. Whatever. I don't care. Dave? Yeah? Bring over the step ladder. Oh, okay. Where'd you put it? 
Uh, uh, see the room where there was slime on the original starting room. Oh, okay, yeah. Got a little bit of stuff on the ceiling, a little bit of schmutz. There is some slime somewhere in the hallway, and I can't find it. Let me give it a look. I mean, if you just want to get this yeah, part of the roof, it's where those leftover bullets were. Oh, okay, yeah. I'll look for this part that you're missing. It's just in that hallway where the bucket is, and I'm using the the green of the other smeller to find it. If it's the not... green one? Yeah. Green is for trash. Oh, green is trash? Is yes. blue blood? Blue is blood. Oh. And what you're probably smelling is the bucket, which can have uh, dirt. I see. Okay. Yep, it was the bucket. Okay. This hallway is clean. Oh, where you are? I'm checking this whole area now, one last lap for blood. Okay. We've got something in this room. Uh, the one where we, the end room? Something in this room. God damn it, there's more slime up there! <laughs> there's always more slime. Fuck! I can reach it. I got it. Okay, I got the dirt in this room and the bullets, I think. Dude, we're close. We're close to done. Yeah, there's still one bit of slime up there. Everything is jammed. I'm bringing the thing over. I don't see it. Ah! But I know it. You don't need a rocket scientist to tell there's some slime. Rocket scientists are actually strangely good with identifying slime. Though. Yeah, I mean, they deal with slime all the time. Aliens. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's not fucking... That's not yeah. rocket science either. That's that's not rocket science. It's alien science, but it's the same. It's the same premise. They know how to deal with aliens because of the rockets. Thanks, Dave. Uh, yeah, I think there's some. I think there's gotta be slime on the roof. I don't see any. I'm getting us. If you walk out with the this nose thing out of this room and then back in here, you'll see what I mean. Like when you get over this side, it gets a little bit higher when it's on blue. See that? Oh. Yeah. Something up on the roof, I'm telling you. Or maybe not. Might be on the maybe it's on the other side? No, it might be on this side. Oh no, it's not. It gets faster when I'm over here. Oh, it's over here. Oh. Aha! Gotcha! Oh, it was a little bit of intestine on the ground. All right. And there's some bullets to do here. It still says there's something, though. Where you are? Yeah. Okay. I've got the uh, the bullet fixer. So if it's a bullet, we can get it done. But I don't think it is. It's oh something in this no, corner. <laughs> you stepped on something. What did you step on? Where were you? There's blood somewhere. What the fuck? There's a <laughs> phantom limb or something in this fucking machine. Metal Gear Solid 6, the Phantom Limb. <sighs> Boss. Boss. I think I we got it. I throwing guys off in that game, and he goes, Boss! Maybe you're not the big boss we thought you were. <laughs> God, I haven't played that game forever. I don't think we actually got it, but I don't think we're going to find it. No. Oh, we got some... Oh, it's this bucket full of actual trash right here. Um, I'm looking for... Did you do all the USBs? Because I didn't do... I've gotten every one. USB that I've seen. Okay, yeah. You got them all. Because I didn't I didn't know what to do with those. I just left them. Yeah, you just plug them into like a little wall thing. It's not that big of a deal. Oh my gosh. There's giga trash over here. Is it... 
This, uh... You handle medicine. trash, I'm gonna make sure the blood is as taken care of as it can be. Oh, need the laser. Is that blood? Is that fucking blood? Where did I drop the laser? Damn it! God damn, damn it! You're not the big boss, we thought you were. Okay. Alrighty. Is this the mess? No. I've got some dirt right here. It could be bullets. There's a lot of bullets in this level, and I didn't even realize. No, that's trash. It's up here. In this corner, but I don't think it's what I'm looking at. I don't think it's the green slime. Okay. What's that? Ah, yes, hidden behind the shit. I got you, you son of a bitch. Dude, chat out here trying to backseat me on what this stuff is, being completely fucking wrong when I actually find what the real mess was. Imagine looking so foolish. I... that's... I'm sorry for you, chat. It must be hard to feel so foolish like that. But, on the bright side, at least now you know you were wrong and you can become wise instead of staying fools forever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what my teacher would tell me. See that? <laughs> Now you just did what I did all those years ago. It's called learning. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the most just awful way to explain. <laughs> See what I just did there? It's called learning. You should look it up. There's a tiny, teeny tiny bit of dirt still. Teeny, teeny, tiny bit of dirt. Oh. Does the cleaver count as a mess? Yeah, this room, this side's clean as shit for blue. There's like some tiny little stains oh, here and there, cool. but like they're reaching the point where it's like impossible to find them. Yeah, there's a lot of like the the bullets uh, in such a way where they look like they're part of the textures on the walls they're really hard to find yeah oh, i found another uh Sirwis schlod is the name of this dead guy uh that's right his name's Sirwis schlod the vtuber that's a vtuber name right there VTuber name that's a vtuber name so an elephant boy, if I've ever heard one. Dude, he's, that is... <laughs> <laughs> I blocked the elephant bit out of my fucking memory. Dude, that would be a good fucking really realistic VTuber up until the moment that it's not funny anymore. <laughs> Which is when the truth is outed. Yeah. <laughs> when it finally happens. <laughs> Look, chat, all I'm saying is don't watch any elephant VTubers, alright? You already know how that trunk is animated. God. You smelling anything out here? No, it's pretty clean. I well, never would have, I'm yells sure. one of my moderators. How dare you? Why aren't you supporting new upstart, like, n new industries? Like, it, it, Yeah, new technology? What the hell? That's the future. You gotta support the future. There's, like, a little tiny... I know, I can't find it. I, I like, gave up. I'm not gonna find it either. I, I say we're good to go. I think we're good to go. Good job, yeah. I think we've done. I think we did a good job. Not much more to be said. Yeah. Leave that in the corner. <laughs> and clock <laughs> out. Throw everything. What's the clock out thing? It's over yonder on this wall. 
Please swipe ah. your card and pull the crank. Attention, do not put gum on or around the device. Any and all perpetrators will be bumped up for reassessment. Thank you and have a productive shift. Has your janitorial work here met the requirements of the company as well as your own pers high personal standards? Uh... Absolutely. No, Dave, how about you do this one? This? How about you check us out on the wall this time? Yeah. Uh, have a productive shift. Uh, make your choice. I wish I could do more. I'm proud of my performance. I don't care. I'm done here. And the union's got my back. I do think it's nice when the union does have my back. They usually do. I'm a union guy. Yeah, you're, uh, we're union men. We're union boys. I uh, I don't know which one I clicked. I was trying to scroll down, and I just realized that... Well, hold up. Hold up. Okay. Uh, I just got a message in the chat. Uh, tomato Horror VR Games colon Blood Pressure Rising 5420. Uh, Vodbro here. We're getting VOD <laughs> messages now happening in the chat. Again, we're bringing it back, baby. <laughs> Hey, God sorry. Go you, on, God, bro. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Uh, wait for your fellow technicians or lead senior technician to finish their shift. Oh, approach your lead technician. You gotta. You gotta the, I'd say the union has our fucking back. Yeah, the unions will protect us. <laughs> the unions got our back. That's that's what unions do. I got promoted. I don't know about you. I also got promoted. That's great news, I think. Nice. Dude, I'm a hygiene technician now. I don't know about you. I didn't. I think I'm a junior executive still. <laughs> Not everyone can be like me, you know. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm an executive. I don't know about you, but that sounds better than your one. Well, I don't know about you, all right, but I'm a, I'm a senior executive. That's what it said. What? You said hygiene technician. No, nah, I, I lied. I lied because I wanted to make you feel better. I actually see. I'm a CEO. So yeah, well, I'm a you. senior CEO. Oh, I'm a CFO. I uh, I'm a, 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 C, a super CEO. I, I'm, a, I'm a stakeholder. I'm the president? Of I, the country. I I just got word in. We just melted the country. We're doing the UN. I'm the king of the UN now. So uh, that's I crazy. uh um the, the, the planet called me Earth. They called and they said they want me to be the boss of Earth. I, I'm the I'm the Lorax, I speak for the trees. Hi. Um, uh my new position. Um uh, I, uh, I, the moon uh, is on the other line. They said that if you don't when give me, uh, right, like if you don't make me leader right now, the moon is going to crash right. into the planet and kill us all. So you should probably just oh. make me god emperor now while we have the chance. Ever heard of a little fella I like to call Thanus? <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching the stream today. <laughs> <laughs> I had fun. <laughs> yeah, it's been good. We made some excellent progress today in all things as we do when we hang out for a couple hours and just talk. God, one of these times we do this, I need to, like, get a good night's sleep. I'm always, like, a little sleepy when we hang out lately because I just, I've been so busy with Isn't things. The timing? Yeah, I know. You have been busy. I've been, That's I've true. been, I've been a little busy. Uh, yeah. But thank you regardless, Dave5005 on Twitch for it, joining me. For Thank you for really a podcast up. with a nice behind uh, background viscera cleanup detail more so than anything nowadays is what these are. <laughs> yeah. Three and a half yeah. hours feels about right for these, for me. And honestly, for a podcast, that's a good time. Yeah, so we, 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 we make some good time here. Yeah. Cover some good ground, have some cursed curses. <laughs> curses strewn into the air. Elephant bit was great. Shut up! <laughs> that might be one of my proudest bits. <laughs> Elephant bit fucking slaps. <laughs> Years to come. You're going to win an Emmy for Elephant Bit. <laughs> <If> you wait. <laughs> Nothing. Look, there, that would be the most creative thing any VTuber ever does. All right? I'm giving him free content. <laughs> All you gotta do is pull it off and not get caught. Oh god. <laughs> they can't prove you're doing it unless the camera switches. 
The camera doesn't switch. That's the camera would happen. never switch, therefore guaranteeing that there's no way they'd ever be able to stop you. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right. Uh, Dave, thanks for thanks for joining me. If you want to like play something else after we wrap up, I'm down. Once I've grabbed yeah. some caffeine, hang out a bit longer. Yeah. But I gotta like I gotta get rid of these people. I gotta get them out of here. Okay. So uh, I'll see you. I'll see you later, my guy. See you. See you later, dude. Bye. Goodbye. You heard me, chat. I'm tired. I'm actually like fucking crashing in reality. I am. I. I don't know. I have to like actually get some sleep. Like I have not been sleeping well. I, I've been so just stressed out and busy. Um, but uh, I've got something that's going on tomorrow in the form of Godforge. So that will be fun i'll post that in discord as always for godforge that'll be a good time nice little day off i kind of need one uh monday i'm not saying it's gonna happen but it might um i'm looking at returning to morrowind it is not the big project i was talking about but i'm thinking about doing a return to morrowind with exclusively tamriel rebuilt stuff as in we aren't even going to touch the base game anymore we are going to start in that mod and only do that mod because i've been wanting to do it for ages and i always never ever ever go there so thinking about doing that stuff i'm going to trim down the old mod pack and just fucking do more with uh tamriel rebuilt and see what we get up to it would be it would slap but um, that might happen on Monday. It depends on how long it takes me to set up that. Uh, that. Anyways, though, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, honestly, I just really enjoyed doing these because it gives me a chance to hang out with Dave and chill out for a while. Because I have been, I have been in desperate need of uh, something like this for a while. <laughs> Sorry if streams have been a little bit off lately. I have been. It's been a weird. Uh, week for me so uh yeah i'll be back on monday with an actual stream at uh 3 30 p.m or so ish est once again that was dave uh he streams at dave 5005 on twitch uh he's a good guy he's a good guy uh i'm outie though i'm outie i'm gonna go uh, let me make sure I don't miss any notifications, though, before I do that, because, uh, that would be fucking sad. I know some people were doing, I don't, I didn't really read any notifications after Dave, uh, joined, because, uh, da doy. Uh, so, thank you, Mother Taffer, for the five gifted subs. Thank you, Mother Taffer, for that. Super kind of you. Bad Bowman, five gifted subs as well. Thank you, Bad Bowman. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Killer Crocomire, 1,500 bits. He lost to High Rank Ukanlos twice. I was there. What a pleb. But no, he killed a Savage Joe with the group. He fucking... He, oh, my God. Ukanlos sucks so bad, Monster Hunter, dude. I fucking hate that guy. I actually hate that guy. Guts. I, I can't do that anymore. I just won't. That actually might have ruined G, uh, like, Generations Ultimate for me. Slime, thanks for the five gifted subs as well. Thank you very much, Slime. And Thousand Manx with another five gifted subs. Thank you. Awful lot of gifted subs today. Thank you so much, chat. All right, I'm out. I'll see you on Monday. And technically tomorrow if you're on the Discord, because I will be doing Godforged on Joe's channel. You know how it works. Uh, bye. Bye-bye.